Jogo, 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 jogo Hallelujah! It's as if mommy should not stop. Hallelujah! Brethren, I told you before that we're going to be blessed here today. We are just starting. So I know that we'll be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, I want you to prepare your mind just like I said before. And you know, before we go to the first talk I'm going to invite somebody who is a man of fire a man of fire whom God has prepared to bless our life he's my very own daddy in the Lord you know when he comes up here you will know what I'm talking about are you ready for the fire are you ready for the fire? I can't hear you. Are you ready for the fire? Join me as I welcome Pastor Emmanuel Obalaye. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord that we have been worshiping and enjoying God in this place. I know that the power and the presence of God that has gathered us. Hallelujah. Wow. Can we celebrate Jesus with a clap of a place? <laughs> Glory be to God. Now, this is Ush. Amen. This is very powerful. And I'm saying I trust the Lord. That the one who has gathered us has gathered us for a purpose. And in the name of Jesus Christ, that purpose shall find expression in our lives. If you don't mind, can you just worship God with me for what God is doing in this place, what God is doing through this ministry, what God is doing through the hands of our Father in the Lord, Pastor Sisoya. Can we be grateful to God? For the, say, for the labor, the sacrifice, the commitment that God has endeared this man with, uh, by which we are all partakers of this blessing. In a moment, can we just worship the Lord? Just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for this grace. Thank you, Lord. We are not taking it for granted. And the Kora Basekeri Bahane Mokosia, and the Kopara Nemakeria Baladena Katena, for this good sacrifice, for this great sacrifice. Oh Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks. A Kambara Makoberi Abada Satin, a Rebakari Makemboro Mokosoberi Alade, and the Kepara de Kobara Made Kobara Masibere Dana. As we are worshiping God, God is changing your status. As we are worshiping God, God is changing your story. And carry my cobberi abana zieko barane kobalada. Eje ke para makera balade kardina. Thank you, Lord, because this sacrifice is not going to be vain. It will produce mighty results. It will produce mighty miracles. Give Him praise. Give Him thanks. Give Him glory. Give Him worship. Give him honor, give him adoration. Whatever we thank God for has the capacity of getting bigger. Whatever we thank God deliberately for has the capacity of getting bigger and bigger. The more you thank him, the more he increases you. Give him glory over this ministry. We can't do it enough, do it again. And over everyone that God has conscripted into this ministry, over every hand that is laboring alongside with Pastor Sisoya. Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks. Blessed be God forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. 
You see, our, our, we, our generation have not learned the act of thanking God enough. And one thing we have not understand that the more we thank God, the more we give God the avenue to multiply us. When Jesus Christ was confronted with the lack of food in the wilderness, and that there were about 5,000 men, excluding wives and children, I want you to go home, even with all of the blessings that God is going to give you this afternoon, please take this home with you. And when they told Jesus that there was nothing to get in that wilderness, he said, okay, can we get something? They said, a young boy is here, he's a lad. What he have is just five loaves of bread and two fishes. Somebody said, what would that do among 5,000 men? That's too small, that's too ridiculous. But Jesus said, bring it to me. As it touches the hand of Jesus, the Bible says he gave thanks. You see, that small thing in your hand, as you learn to give God thanks, they will multiply. Let your amen be loud. And as he gave thanks, the Bible said they begin to break that bread and distribute. As they break and distribute, it gets multiplied. I mean, it just keeps increasing. Multiplication keeps happening to that bread until the 5,000 men, excluding wives and children, they held. And there was still 12 baskets left over. Somebody has come here. I don't know how you came in here. The sacrifice you put in place to come in here. But in the name of Jesus, when God is done with you this afternoon, you will not only be blessed, that will be overflowing in your name of Jesus. Your basket will overflow. Let your amen be loud. All right, quickly I want to challenge us and let us pray on what I title Arise and Shine. It was given to me by our Father in the Lord that we should just pray with it. If you don't mind, can you please rise on your feet? We have about seven minutes more to go. Somebody, as you are rising, you are rising out of darkness. Somebody, as you are rising, you are rising out of lack and obscurity. Somebody, as you are rising, you will no longer be found in the valley of life. Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Now the Bible speaking in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and from verse 1. I will just stay on verse 1. Arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So the first thing is arise and shine. To shine means Give expression to purpose. Give expression to destiny. Somebody is here from today. Your potential shall find expression. Uh, you don't know that many people have this kind of grace. As it is given to Pastor Osisonia. But they go to the grave with it. Not everybody has the privilege of fulfilling purpose and destiny. Many potential never has the luxury of witness the light of manifestation so when the bible begin to describe to us arise and shine it means that there is a talent a gifting an anointing a blessing an idea a dream and a vision that god has dropped in your spirit now god say arise and let that dream begin to find expression and i announce by the prophetic unction everyone under the sound of this my voice under this divine atmosphere, your dream will begin to manifest. You will not die without vision. You will not die without potential. In the name of Jesus. Now, the second part of that verse of the scripture from Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 is that arise and shine for your light has come. Now, there's something about light. Light is an announcer. Are you hearing me? When light comes into a place, it unveils, it reveals, it announces. Somebody's here. You see, many a times, there are many of us that God has gifted with one grace, with one talent, with one idea. But where you are operating is at the low key of life. You are operating in the valley of obscurity. Though you are gifted, though you are talented, but nobody seems to discover you. You know why? Because you are hidden. Such was the life of Joseph, talented, gifted, full of prophetic grace. But there was a prison in the palace that was caging that potential. Until the light came, when light comes, there is an unveiling. 
when I come, there is a revealing. I've come to announce to someone. Somebody is listening to me right now. That gift of God upon your life. After this encounter, they will be announced to your generation. I said they will be announced to your generation. I said they will be announced to your generation. Raise your voice and say, I will be announced. My glory will be announced. My testimony will be announced. I will not die with this talent. I will not die with this grace. I will not die with this vision. Can God hear your voice? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, finally, he said, arise and shine. Number one, give expression to potential. Number two, for your light has come. Let there be an announcement. Do you know that it was when Jesus Christ was at the, uh, at the, at the river of Jordan that the Bible said the heaven over Jesus' head was open. For the first time, it became clear to everyone that this man that had been hidden among men for 30 years is actually the son of God. Is the power and the glory of God in human form. But for 30 years, this man called Jesus has been hidden. But when light shine, the heavens open, and that was an announcement. He said, this is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. From today, nations will hear you. You are listening to me now. Anytime you are doing family meeting, they don't want to hear your voice. Because something in you has not been announced. But I've come to tell you by the Spirit of God. After this encounter, in that family meeting, until you speak, nothing happened. Let your amen blow up this roof. Shout it loud and clear. So light is an announcer. And as I close, the third part is that arise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of God is what? Is, is what? Is what? Let me tell you something about glory. Glory describes the invisible realities of God. Yes. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. How many of you know that word cannot be seen? Are you with me? Words are spirit, they are invisible, though they carry life. Amen. All right. Jesus said, The word I speak unto you, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. Now listen to this. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Is that in your Bible? And in him was life, and that life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended not. In that same John chapter 1, if you go down to verse 14, say, and the word became what? Flesh. See, glory has no value until it becomes visible. Eh? Eh? So, the invisible realities of God can only be appreciated among men when it becomes tangible. And the word became flesh. What exists in the spirit? What exists in eternity? What the eyes of men have not been able to see? What was responsible for creation? The Bible says it became what? Flesh. And it dwelt where? Among us. And we can see the glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father. Do you know why I'm telling you this? From today, every glory of God upon your life, they will begin to manifest. Let your amen be loud. Let your amen be loud. Now lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I am born to manifest. I will manifest. My glory shall find expression. Let God hear your voice. I am born to manifest. And in the name of Jesus. I will manifest. Thank you Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I pray with you in a moment? Father, once again, we thank you for all who have made it a point of duty against all odds to be in this meeting. We know you have so much in store for us. And Lord, we are grateful for the privilege. And Lord, I'm asking in the power of your name 
that everyone hearing us and that will be hearing you in the course of this meeting let your glory upon their life begin to find expression let every darkness every veil of the devil covering their talents their gifts in the name of Jesus let them be broken by fire everyone saying amen be the first to carry your testimony thank you father in Jesus name we pray please let's jam hands together for Jesus jam your hands together for Jesus please have your seat God bless you have your seat once again I want to make welcome everyone we are very very important if you know that you are important jam your hands together for yourself if you know that you are wonderfully and beautifully made I want you to give yourself another round of applause hallelujah you agree with me that God has been good isn't it you know some of my daddy that I stole last year it's as if they are getting fresher I don't know what's the secret sir Jesus let's jam our hands together for Jesus we are all looking radiant God bless you so we'll be moving to the first talk uh, before we go to the first talk I also want to welcome um, those that are joining us online um, I also pray that you be blessed as you watch in Jesus name so we are going to the first talk and the person to lead us is Professor Oyedoni O Arulogun. Let's jam hands together for Jesus as he comes to give the first talk and he will be talking to us on your vision and character to edify your life, marriage and career. I can't hear our hands. Let's put those hands together. Let's put those hands together for Jesus. Can we rise up on our feet and just worship the name of the Lord. To marvelous for what? Wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or The depth of your love, you are beautiful beyond description, majesty.
One more time, sing that song to the Lord. Bring it up, oh, say, Levi, I never see it, and I never see it. Levo, Badaba, Ganabo, Kaya, Lesurebo, Tana, I never see it. I never see it. expressions let your word come alive take your people from the language of the world into the reality and the truth of your word thank you almighty God in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. please you may be seated good morning everybody uh, I'm here ably representing my boss professor Arulogun she is unavoidably absent. She tried all possible to be here, but you know, uh, she has to travel for uh, another assignment. So she asked me to come. And I pray that the same God that is mighty through Peter will be mighty through Paul in Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Uh, when I, and I also want to appreciate um, Dr. Oshisoya for Hosting this, can we just jam our hands together for him? Let's jam our hands together for him. Uh, you know, these days now, when men of God will be holding meetings, they hold meetings um, not to deal with the core issues of life. Many people will hold meetings just to bamboozle people with falling down and dying, and people will just fall down under the anointing, and they will still come back the same way. Their life will not be transformed. So a topic like this, uh, wisdom of God in a man, right? The wisdom of God in a man, unusual treasure. These are the things that we need that will make us have substance. So I've been asked to talk about using pop, um, vision and character um, to edify your what? Your life. Uh, first and foremost, I want us to know that life itself, God did not create life to be full of struggles. Life is not supposed to be full of struggles. Life is not supposed to be filled with uh, imbalance. All right? I believe many people here, vast majority of us, we are almost imbalanced. Some people are very strong spiritually, but if you check their family life, it's nothing to write them about. If you check their career, it's nothing to write them about. If you check their workspace, their jobs. Now, why is it that? The truth of the matter is that after the fall of man, it is compulsory, it is now mandatory for every man that will live on this earth to experience imbalance and struggle because God calls the land for man's sake. I hope you are getting it now. So if you are born, but God did not create that. God did not create man for wala idamu ishoro. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 says, For I know what the thoughts that i have what towards i believe we are bible students here yeah, we should be wrapping that passage he said for i know what the thoughts that i have towards you the thoughts of what the thoughts of peace and not of what not of evil to give you what an expected end so who said that in the bible god himself and one of the qualities of god is god will never lie god can never lie if god if i tell you now that Nobody is looking back. But if God tells you that even if it is one headed dog that is there, by the time you turn back, you will see because the power of God creates. When God says something, it, He creates it. So God can never lie. If He says, My thoughts towards you is peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end, hope, bright future, then what actually is happening? So I said, life is not supposed to be so. Now, what is the way out? The way out to all these things is what? Salvation. I'll be picking some points because I have limited time, but I want you to just jot as many things as possible. All right? 
So salvation is the only thing that will separate you from Bobo Lassi Bo. Bobo Wala to Wanwa Ye. Now, how many of us are saved here? If you are saved, you are giving your life to Christ. Raise up your hand. Quite a number, all right? Quite a number. Uh, when I mean saved, you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Because in churches today, I heard of a church that when you go there, and you're, for, you're a first time, and they just give you a listen, you will feel it. And they say, now you are giving your life to Christ. And we have quickly joined the workers, and they would quickly do some crash programs. And you join the workforce. And a lot of rubbish is happening in the body of Christ. And the Lord is going to visit. If I God has started visiting the body of Christ, especially in Nigeria, because the body of Christ in Nigeria must get to a particular point whereby there is sanity. Because we have a major purpose in what God is doing at this last time. So salvation is the answer. But what is really salvation? Many of us are saved. And we cannot even boast of success. Don't bother to raise up your hand. Many of us are saved. We cannot even boast of this uh, issue of no struggle. Peace. Where there is peace. You know peace is not the absence of trouble. Amen. Peace is not the absence of trouble. But you are, your mind just they say nothing they happen for you. Similar thing happened um, to Apostle Paul when they were going. He told them, don't let us go this way and stuff. But they still went. And there was so much storm. And the man was just peaceful. He said, God, the God who has served, go send the angel, I will get there. So don't worry. Even Jesus, when the storm was in the, people tell me, Jesus was sleeping in the boat. So peace is not the absence of storm. If your marriage is going through storm right now, that does not mean you cannot have peace. The outcome can still be good. So what are salvation? I said, the, I've said something, two things now. I said, number one, everybody on this earth is destined, ever since Adam messed up, everybody on this earth is destined to trouble. Wala, bobwe. They will always be affected by what the country is doing. The fuel is 300 naira now. If you are not careful, it may get to 400 naira even before the next president is sworn in. It's not a cause. All right? If we are in this their world, the church is the kingdom of God. My father in the Lord, Revolution, said that. He said, the church is the kingdom of God in the kingdom of men. So what rules the kingdom of God? The people that are in the kingdom of God must not rule them, but they must know how to do that. Salvation takes you to the kingdom of God. Amen. Are you getting me now? So now we have two, two people on a row. People of the world, whereby they will always experience struggle and trouble. They will experience imbalance of all sorts, career-wise, marital-wise, all manner of wise. And we have people that are in salvation. The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the what? Amen. Am I in a Christian gathering? Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Amen. But many of us are in salvation without experiencing this peace. Without experiencing these things that God has said we have. Why? Because we are not shown the power of purpose, vision, and character. And that's what I'll be talking about today. So what will salvation do for you? Salvation will give you relationship with God. Relationship with God. You are different from a Muslim. That's just the truth. Christians are what? You are different from a Muslim because you have an access, direct relationship with God. One of the major things salvation will give you is a direct relationship with your God, Yahweh, Jehovah. Amen? And once you have a relationship with God, now, for you to live a balanced life, one of the first things you will do is vision. Now, I want you to write down your notes. What is the vision for your life? Quickly, everybody, quickly. I'm counting one to ten. Just write down. Everybody, everybody, male, female, old and young. Write down the vision for your life in your paper now. Thank God we are all giving jotas. Amen. Nobody is writing. If you are not writing, I will perceive that you don't have vision for your life. Where it's not a crime, that's one of the reasons why you are here. So write down the vision for your life. Only for what, boo? Remember those days in school? That's the point where we just do like this. All right, only for what, boo? Write down the vision for your life. Quickly. One, two, three, four. I'm counting to ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Thank you. So, so what is vision, actually? Vision, um, it's a conceptual, I wrote it that vision is a conceptual, visual manifestation of divine purpose for your life. A visual conception, you just conceive it, but not just conceive by taking joke by, okay, I want to be the, um, like somebody said, uh, I want to be the president of Nigeria, Amen. 
That's ambition, all right? Vision is the visual conception of the purpose of God, divine purpose for your life. It's the glimpse, glimpse of the reason of your existence. It is different from ambition. You may have an ambition to, to be, like, for example, my father in the law wanted to be the professor of electronics at a young age. Baba I. Adeboye wanted to be a professor of mathematics at a very young age. And he was on the path of fulfilling that, isn't he? He was on the path of fulfilling that, but look at it, just look at life. He had the ambition, he was brilliant, he has, that's why I, I always tell the youth, your purpose in life is your giftings, as it were, is not the number one point, an indicator to your purpose in destiny. You may write that down. You know when you go to all these motivational speakers, they will tell you, oh, you can sing, oh, you have a beautiful song, maybe your purpose is to sing, is to be in the choir and... Good, you may have that, but do you know that your purpose might even be to be a missionary? Amen. Look at Baba Deboye. Baba Deboye, I believe this is a redeemed meeting, right? More of redeeming, though it's a body of Christ, kind of. All right, so I'll use what you know to take you into the unknown. Baba Deboye was a part of becoming a professor of mathematics. But look at where God is taking him. God destined him to what? To be his servant, his oracle in this generation. And he has been that for many years now, close to five decades. Am I lying? He has been serving God close to five decades. So, your vision is conceptual. You can't get your vision by just sitting down and just thinking. That is why no unsaved person can know the purpose of God for his life. Write that down. No unsaved person. If you are not saved, you can't know the purpose of God for your life. If you are saved and you are just being lackadaisical in church, you can never know the purpose of God for your life. How many of us are baptized in the Holy Ghost here? Genuinely baptized. Not Sanda Batashu, Eko Tabaya, Biri Biri Stalagabia. You know there are some tongues that you know that they are not, they are not Holy Ghost baptism tongues. Amen. How many of you are genuinely baptized in the Holy Ghost? Filled with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Can you please raise up your hands? Maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just eight or nine. You, can, you should not be baptized in the Holy Ghost and you are in the darkness of this world without knowing your purpose in life. That's one of the things. You know, salvation, I say salvation is what will separate you, okay, from struggles, imbalance. But you may be separated and still be experiencing it. If you don't have understanding of how to use it, one of the things salvation will give to you, I say relationship with God, right? Another thing it will give to you is the baptism of the Holy Ghost, which will make you, which, which will launch you into the depth of a lot of things. Now, when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, it's an avenue for you to launch. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9, it says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, it has not come to the mind of man. Abby, one of those things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, is your purpose. It's your destiny. And you need to know what God has created you for. Anybody, no matter how brilliant you are. Amen. Amen. No matter how brilliant you are, you won't be able to fulfill... I have just five more minutes. I have not even entered vision. No matter how brilliant you are, you won't be able to, to grasp what God has destined for you. Perhaps I just read out of my jotis, I just jotted down there. Um, vision, I have this divine vision for us, right? So please write these things down because of our time. Stop running for provisions. Stop running for provisions before you have vision. Stop running for provisions before you have vision. You are running for God. Provide a husband for me. Provide a wife for me. You don't have a vision for your life. Why me is use woman? To bafe. Why me is use woman? You want to see modern life for year? Or to undad rollo afu mi loko afu mi loko. Or not to see for own shanu? You come about for any box. You come about for any boxer. That my box is left, right, and center. So you have to first know the purpose of God. Parents, any baba, any mama, please. It is expedient for you to. Stand in gap and have an idea of what God wants to use your child for. I wrote on my WhatsApp status overnight. I said, I said, don't just be a grandma eh, and grandpa that you are just telling four close story. Ah, Morota Yeba, yo yo, yo yo, why not see Ode? Why wants a story? It's good to tell stories. But don't just be a storyteller in the family. Be someone that has already worked with God and know God. And your example in life, you are an example that people will say, okay, you know, children nowadays, most of these children, teenagers, they don't want to serve God again. 
One of the church is a scam. Am I lying? Young people, are, am I lying? They think church is a scam. Why? Because I want grandpa, I want grandma, I want daddy, I want mommy. Wa. So I want tell you alone, tell you alone. What the evidence alone in a year one? So I'm challenging you, grandpa, grandma. The little time you still have, some 20, 30 more years. You are 60 years now. You are 70 now. You still have some 30 more years. God willing, make sure you show your children that it pays to serve Jesus. Those days we used to sing that song. It pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He always be with us, Abby. Now, if pays to serve Jesus, they need an evidence. Somebody that will show them the pathway that it pays to serve Jesus. Parents, don't be a mama that is just running after school fees. School fees don't concern. They don't run out of time. They bring them to something else. You are not showing these children how to know God. Once you know how to know God, then you discover your purpose in life. Your purpose is the only thing that will save you. It will cut a lot of things from you. It will cut you away from bad people, from wrong people. Your purpose will make you know what you should go for and what you should not go for. That is the power of vision. What is, thank you, sir. What is the essence of marriage without having vision? You will be frustrated. My father in the Lord will say, if your wife is operating like a governor in life, don't be threatened by the position of your wife. Ah, me lower, lower. Show me money. Business is shampoo. Emire. Ah, what I get come by. Ah, kiniko kiniko. No, it means that the way God created you, you are destined to be at the presidential life. If your wife is a governor, that means God has destined you so that you'll be able to help you. But a man that has not known his purpose will frustrate your life. When a lady, when I propose to a lady, now I say, Ah, hello, lady. I love you. Can we marry? The lady will say, do you love me? No, that's not the first question you should ask the guy. If you ask the guy, do you have a purpose? What do I want to come and do in your life? Vision separates bad people from you. It says the law of God in your control. Fathers, please receive the vision of God for your family. Receive the vision of God for who? For your family. Now, when your vision comes, when you pray, when you, I was talking about being baptized in the Holy Ghost, make sure you are not a prisoner. And you know, it's okay, it's bad. A, a, infinite of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Don't just be a, don't let your life be a prison. Let it be a vehicle. Spend time daily to pray in the Holy Ghost. God will lead you. And now, when God starts showing you probably things that He wants to use your life for, for example, I, when I was little, as little as seven, six, seven, eight, I was seeing myself. I'm a Jack David, but I want to play football. Okay? And I wore a yellow gold shirt. I was with number seven behind it. I was like, we all go on in life. I didn't understand. I thought I would be a footballer. Later on in life, I see around seven, ten years, I saw myself putting on a white lab coat. There was a white Oibo women, like nurses beside me. And I lay hands on somebody that was sick. I thought I would be a doctor. And I was very brilliant. A student when I was in nursery secondary school. Alright, so I thought I would be a medical doctor, not knowing that God had called me, predestined me in with the healing anointing. I never knew. So when you have vision, autotoronical need vision, autotoronical need interpretation. Interpretation is more important. Now, when you are baptized, you, know, you are praying. The devil knows that. Ah, oh my, my get answer. Oh, oh my get answers like the kingdom of stop on my kingdom of stop on my yo. It's our why interpretation to wrong for it. And that is why it is very wrong for many of you that used to buy all these books. Two hundred and twenty-one minutes to your dream. To balala, you go jenny, eh, too many, you make you go, eh, to balala, eh, oh, wash your black, oh, why you pada buy, oh, the gold, you too many, to baro, you know, you are la, to do no, and so you better for one share, you to read it, to baro, eh, she, eh, me, no, Marie, you know, So be careful of who is interpreting for you. You may have dreams. Now, interpretation of dreams, the time is, de- is dependent on who you are in life. Somebody, a, a man of God had a ministration. He was going to minister somewhere. He was invited to minister somewhere. And he slept overnight. And he had an, an invitation that somebody, some people came. And they raped his, his wife. And he was struggling in that dream. What is the meaning of this? And he was praying. Look at the wife. The wife was Don't worry. Sleep back. And he went to the second room. His prayer room. And he was praying. And the Lord said, nobody is going to rape your wife. The interpretation of this dream is that where you are going to minister, the body there, my people there, they are being raped by false prophets. Now, be ready to confront false prophets. Now, confrontation of false prophets is different from confronting fake prophets. Timbaja fake prophets, he's smoke on the wood. Lika, Sandoya, Kuya. Man of God, come, come, come. Act with me. Come. Ah, 
young man, young man, I see you. Receive your visa right now. Receive your visa right now. Now, why? is a young man. What is common now is Japa syndrome. Everybody wants to Japa. And he's even putting on words. London, England. So I'm a what? Fake. I'm a fake prophet, right? Now, to deal with somebody that is fake is different from dealing with somebody that is false. False prophet. False prophet. Tobacco, ni pe Christian, to serious mo long. To banu e mi moje. O wa fe lo koju false prophet. Ma fi e jin ata o. Because they are using a fake power behind them. I may bring out an anchor chief and just say, Ah, sataya. Ah, daddy, omo yin ye, to lo yin si ni ye, yo bi mo la yo ata la fi a. Come on, omo daddy to den je a de bisi. To lo yin si ni to 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 a bi six months. Ah, ba o lo she mo. O wa lo ba daddy, o si so ya. She so fun, ma ye kwe omo mi. No mi o so fun. Ah, o de mo. Now I'm using a fake power. If somebody wants to confront that fake, uh, a false pro prophet, it is a battle. That's how many people have already, they are dead. Is that these young generations? You just go on social media, you confront some crazy men of God. They are using serpentine spirit. Amen. So I was talking about vision. Vision, out of the vision, out of the long. Most of people, it's only God that can give you vision. It's not just looking at how brilliant you are. It's not just using two plus two is equals to two. Okay, my daddy is a lawyer, my grandpa is a is a barrister. Okay, and me not can follow trend there, came not the lawyer. It's not talking about that. I'm talking about God giving you this is what you are destined to be, even if you are called to be a pastor. There are meetings that pastors should hold. For example, this is a special meeting. Dr. Ishoya is a is a, is an academic person and is also a man of God. I was saying that you could actually hold a meeting where people will fall under the anointing. Okay, but this is a specialized meeting. If you are a minister, you are singing song. There are some songs that you must drop. Okay, Tobodo, download that All right, I, I, I see the MC is coming now. So now, interpretation. I will stay only on vision. I won't go on character. Interpretation matters. And fathers in the house, please, may God baptize you all with the spirit of interpretation. Tole interpret your command shell somewhere while we're sacking and man of a book on bye bye bye. Okay, so for my color, take step bye 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 ahead. Interpretation matters because your life will not be stable, your life will not be balanced without vision. And if you have the vision with wrong interpretation, you will be frustrated. If you have the vision, okay, without interpretation, you will be what frustrated. Now, what is the next thing after you have gotten your vision? I said you must get your vision from God. Go delay. If you need that one, will you what is the big deal in you staying with God and praying in the Holy Ghost for at least one hour? But most people don't have every advance in one hour. Church meeting, faith clinic, faith meeting, for example, faith clinic is one hour, right? Why am I calling for 20 minutes? And don't have that drama, I'm calling 5 10 minutes again, 30 minutes. I explain a drama, I saw the Bible study for another 10 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes. I do that 10 minutes. I do offer in 5 minutes. I do call it called benediction. Chat in that run here. But when you as a Christian, you stay, apart from the church prayers, even personally, you stay with God. Go to soon, that run. My was using films when you're a door. And you, Baba, and my can newspaper soon. And you, young people, when you play, I want the video of Kilema and Boy. And my mother said, that run soon. All of my feet are on you. Your dream is supposed to be a spiritual window, a lecture theater whereby God will reveal things about you, about your surroundings to you. So when God gives you that, and there is right interpretation, because God calls people into three or four major parts. Is that God calls your purpose? Is that you be in line with government? Example is Daniel. I don't know into governance. I just so thought of Urawa. I don't know you're into governance. Government can lead, can rule away you, can lead away you. God calls people into governance, either politically or even in the university. God can call you to be a dean, a chancellor, uh, whatever, vice chancellor, and things like that. God calls people like that. If you don't think touch any, it be a one in cement. That the way, make sure you are part of the leadership there. And I'm an English, I'm an English. I want to say, I want to say, I'm not going 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 to say, when you have the right to even take there, to be there. Amen? So God calls people into governance. He calls people into family. The example is Mary. Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. 
family is look with go into governance. Or not go into what? Go into ministry. And number three, God calls people into the ministry. Examples are the apostles. Example is Dr. Jishoya. Okay? And God calls people into other things like that. So once you know where God calls you into, the major thing now, which we need to characterize around of, is God now, it's not that I'm not to the pastor. But what loss here so And I want these things to stop, please. Especially if you are a man of God, you have the liberty to put people, to set people up for ordination. Enough of just looking at people that are speaking grammar and you are calling them a day they were not say so deep, not say so deep. Not say Bible college, not say Bible college. No, 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 no. There are people that have not carried the spirit of the house. And we are ordaining them. That is why we are having a lot of rubbish on the pulpit these days. People must be trained. Once you know the purpose of God, the vision, you grab the vision. The next thing for you is to set up in training, process, training, process, training, process, training, process. Mama, and you be a train. I want to see what come the mama be you. Most of them are not trained. Young husband in the house, am I talking? Don't raise up your hand, though. Come on, <laughs> amen. Most I will be written and try, but while we are not training our boys to become man. Training process, training process. When God calls you into the ministry, set up, stay under somebody to train you, not rushing out, not rushing out, not rushing out, not rushing out. Enough of rubbish in the body of Christ. Enough. People are not trained. Any little gifts like that. Only calling, don't know the calling, don't even get punk. I want to do those skin that could be not in room. Oh, to be a thing calling. Oh, I'm a capacity pastor. And you see a lot of them, one man see pastor as their assistant. You might want to assist the pastor. That is rubbish. Now, I want to tell all of you that into the health ministry, as if you're a singing song or you are a dramatist, if you don't submit to a pastor, you are risking your life. Koma Koribi, talk ya la bi. Koma Koribi, F. Miloru Kowamo. Koma Koribi, Bola, you are not called as a major general. Pastor, apostle, prophet, evangelist, teachers. Those, 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 those five things. You have to be under. Why am I coming to this sister? I don't know. Are you a minister? You have to. Mama, you understand me. You have to be under a pastor, a God named pastor. To my trainer. Me, our generation is not going through training. A lot of things shell. A lot of things shell. It is that training that will give you that character. What is character? Standard. Set of standard for your own life. To help. Oh, they shake it. Many of us, both you watch a real any church. Don't check social media. I want to look on who are Mary and one sister to that the SUV. Don't be doing social media. Don't you call Mary? You are something else in school. You are something else in the office. You are something else when you come to the church. No, you are not a man of character. And pastors, please, especially Kim Morisi, quite alone if you. Pastors, please don't put anybody to start singing based on their gifts alone. Forget about that. Enough of melody. How you do, Joe? Can you do? I was I was pastoring in the church because most I'm talking about out of my own life. God called me 2010, and quickly I became an assistant pastor somewhere. All right, give the end law when I hold the microphone, word of knowledge, I'm a day and things and stuff like that. So we were, but there was no process and no training as it were. But thank God that I do listen to genuine men of God that has walked the road. Though that is not a substitute for training, you must be trained. You must be trained. So, I can say Thanksgiving. So, area area headquarters, you move and buy. The area pastor, I go and round up the Thanksgiving service. So, what you do? Go, what you do? I just stood on the altar, and we were about to round off. Watching Joe, and I was like, Holy Ghost, how do I round this off? Because when you pay me, I'm about to round off service. But I've learned that he's the one that will tell you what to say, what to do part time. That's ministry, not that pay more. And the Holy Ghost said, Abayomi, when will you give me my own praise? I was like, ah, for the past 30, 45 minutes, 13, Corinth, 13, Joe, killing me. He said, no, this is not for me. Now, pastors, please, stop giving people that are just gifted. Only Corinth, Biangeli, Bokoniwa, character. People will drop to you because of your gifts. It is character that will make them stay. And you know people, especially those of us that are in the ministry, pastors, you can speak, you can oh that body by Ogun share, but we're in your be also new man take ministry, one for a moon, 
to a fi mi wa fi jump to another person wa fi pastor ya baba mo baba yi ni pe sugbon ko si won kan to le fi pe ero why because of things like this and many other things like that so character is a set of standard if you need to sacrifice anything you will not shake you will not move and i pray the lord will help us in jesus name my time is up the mc is beside me now but i want us all to rise up on our feet I want us all to rise up on our feet. We are rising up. The time is up. I want us to rise up on our feet. I don't know the part that has touched you today. Is it the one about those that you must be saved? If you are not born again here, and you want to give your life to Christ, this is the time for you to come. I will count one to five. Share on salvation. That's the best decision you can take in life. Walk in begging you. One scope in your co was safe. Please, heavy restraints. One help in your co co was safe. One to five. You want to give your life to Christ? Come. Opportunity in the Your life will be better. I'm telling you that. I am telling you that. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Now I said something about vision. You don't know the vision for your life. Ambition of Lake Akiri. Oh, that's the frustrated. I want you to bow down your and talk to the Lord and Father, please. Starting from this meeting, open my eyes. See why you have destined me. I don't want to waste. God, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes. I want to see you. I want to see you. Give it to Vidami. Give it to Vidami. If you are young, it's an opportunity for you. Go by the thing that the last that part of your life, you must use, make sure you use it to serve God. It's never too late. Open my eyes. Are you in the center of God's will? Are you a pastor? What are the programs you must be doing? Tell him my just or cheat. Tell him you don't programs by seminars and trainings. Lord, open my eyes. Rika po sondori adabo shata. Reke sondori akapareros. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you are fathers in the house, I want you to raise up your hand. To baje baba ni eni nule. How you are a mother. You have responsibility over your children. Raise up your two hands to the Lord. Father, give me gift of interpretation. Let me be able to interpret. Let me be able to interpret. Masokoto Yerebos. Vision without interpretation is rubbish. You will be frustrated. Lord, grant me. Reno Sataria. Rigadamayamosoto Riderobos. Ramosundaria Kapayabarabas. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, your people have heard your word. I ask of you, Lord, that in every way this word has touched the heart of your people. May the fowls of the air not come and pick it off again. May these things produce multiple folds in the name of Jesus. For as many persons die in error, they are round peg in square hole. Father, we position them in Jesus' name. For as many that are trusting only on their gifts, their charisma, without character, Father, receive them in Jesus' name. Open the eyes of people to kingdom trainers that we train, that we disciple them into what they ought to be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. We give you praise and glory in Jesus mighty name we pray I can hear those hands let's clap it for Jesus not for man let's clap it for Jesus clap it for Jesus you know some of us we like whining eh? until I say clap those hands and let we close come out Eh? Clap those hands. The number of years you want to live. Eh? Oh yeah, clap your hands, Joe. Hallelujah. If you have been blessed, I want you to just wave your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Don't worry. Eh, ring Tell your neighbor, say eh, ring What I just want to advise you today is don't be casual. Because your life will be blessed. And I want to tell you. The writing part that has been given to you is not for decoration. 
you know, maybe some of us we have been looking at it. Oh, we are Timba Dele, my love for sister. Eh? Or oh, you want to go and give brother? Please, if you if you want to give brother, write something and give it with content. Praise the name of the Lord. The man of God said something. He said, God called people to what? The first thing, God called people to what? God called people to what? Ah, I want to walk like Bobby Okonkoko. God called people to what? Governance. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, God called people to who? To? Family. Okay. Then thirdly, God called people to? Ah, eti mo wey you e pate wo furan ile kan se. All right, we are going to the second talk very quickly because um, you know our time is going and we have a lot in store. So you join me as I welcome the person to give the second talk. He is a doctor. Join me as I welcome Dr. Oyeyemi Afolabi for the second talk. Let's put hands together for Jesus. I don't want to wind us like machine. Let's clap. Let's clap. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we ask that you help us. You will bless our lives. Your word will transform our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. So let me appreciate all of us and the organizers of the program for having me here. It is a privilege and it's an opportunity. I understand that um, it's a spiritual gathering and um, many people will be wondering, what's the doctor doing here? You know, but, you know, God made man, spirit, soul, and body. And time might not permit me, but there is a connection between your spirit, your soul, and your body. So many times when we talk about the spirit, we should talk about our body, we should talk about our soul. So which is one of the reasons why we are here. We have limited time, so we will not waste our time. I trust that God will help us in Jesus' name. God bless the last speaker and God will increase his knowledge in Jesus' name. So I'm a doctor, I'm a mental health expert. So and that's basically what I'm here to do, to talk about how we can promote our mental health, how we can live mentally healthy as possible. You agree with me that the um, we're having many more incidents and cases of mental health related issues these days. And it is an opportunity for us to be harmed with information so that we can live as healthy as possibly. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. So, but with a background to this, I think we can open our scriptures to 2 Corinthians 4 7. I understand our theme, unusual treasure, the wisdom of God in man. So, you will understand that there is really, whatever medicine we are practicing, mental health we are practicing, everything derives from the wisdom of God. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. Maybe I should read from verse 6. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in here in vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Hallelujah. So we can see the wisdom of God here. Bible says, God wants us to shine. He's shining through us so that we can shine to others. But that verse 7 starts with a but. But this big treasure, God in his wisdom, 
has put it in earthen vessels. Some version says in perishable vessels. And that is the age-long wisdom of God. God put very serious treasure in containers that you will never have thought of. And that is the wisdom of God. And I will not have time to talk about that, but how does it relate to us? No matter the assignment that God has committed into your hands, no matter the gift that God has given you, no matter the anointing that God has given you, and the ministry that God has committed into your hands, please note that God has put those things in perishable vessels. In perishable containers. That is our body. The day the body fails, that gifting comes to an end. You agree with me? No matter the anointing, the day the body fails, the health does not work, or the person dies, that anointing terminates. So it is an opportunity for us to, it's a call for us to understand how best to take care of the perishable container that God has put this beautiful treasure in. So we'll be talking about promoting healthy lifestyles and sound mental health. So we'll run very, very quickly. Now, one basic thing that we must understand is that health, please, I think we can go to the first slide. Health um, can be defined universally. They say it's a state of complete mental well-being, physical well-being, social well-being. What does that mean? That when a person is LG, we are, we are talking of three different dimensions. Our health stands on three legs. If you have something on three legs, say a tricycle has three legs. If one of the legs is broken or is not there, would that thing stand? No. Now, I'm starting from the basic definition so that we are going to be cured of our misconception. Now, when somebody says, I'm not healthy, the only thing that we think of, are you having a headache? Are you having leg pain? Is your tummy paining you? In fact, you can see the person. The person does not even look sick. He's not sick. Meanwhile, all we are describing is only a component of health. That's the physical health. But there are other dimensions. Mental health. Social health. And like I said, they are all interconnected. Sometimes physical health problems can lead to mental health problems. Can lead to social health problems. Also, mental health problems can lead to physical health problems. I'll give one or two examples. I have a patient who had a mental health breakdown. Young man, or let me say middle-aged man, he's in his 40s. Doing well, fantastic man, and then he started hearing strange voices. That's one of the manifestations of mental health problems. And the voices will command him to do this. Now, he'll be hearing the voices like I'm talking to you and you're hearing me. The only thing is I cannot see the person talking. So many times when people will mistaken it and say that, I think it's the Holy Spirit talking to me. But of course, the Holy Spirit will not tell you to do some crazy thing. So one of those days, the voice instructed him, go to the bridge and jump down on the express. So, and the guy went and jumped. But God in his mercy did not allow him to land on his head. He landed on one of the legs and it broke. And he was rushed to the hospital. They did a surgery. He still limps till today. But that was when the family knew that, no, this is a big problem. So a mental health problem eventually led him to a fracture, to a physical health problem. And sometimes a physical health problem can also cause mental health problems. We have had people who, what's the physical health problem? Infertility. And then 
weeks, months after, they come down with depression. So I'm only laying a foundation to say that none of the aspect of our health is inconsequential. Hmm? Do we agree with me? None. If the only problem somebody has is inability to sleep, I pray you don't have it. But I know people that come to the hospital every week because of that. You would think that they have money. They don't have headache. They don't have hypertension. The only problem is that they cannot sleep and they cannot explain why they cannot sleep. So there is really no aspect of our health that is not, that is, that is little. Sometimes all you can have is one little pain in this and that thing will mess up your whole day, mess up your life. You won't sleep, you won't go out. It will make you terribly uncomfortable. So everything is interconnected. Let's go to the next slide. So the next slide talks about um, what is men mental health. Of course, mental health talks about the ability of a man. You, they can cope with normal stress of life and can work productively. Let me just take those two. It takes a good mental health to be able to cope with the normal everyday stress of life and to be able to work productively. So, most times, mental illnesses or mental health issues affect our ability to work productively, affect our ability to cope with everyday stress of life. Just yesterday, a friend from working in a radio station was calling me and said, please, I need you to help me see one of my colleagues. He used to be a vibrant, hardworking, productive guy. So for the last couple of weeks, he's not been coming to work as such. He's no longer productive. He has withdrawn from everybody. Of course, I don't need anybody to tell me that the guy has a mental health problem. I've not seen him. But when I see him, I, my task is to now know which of the mental health problems does he have. All right, so let's, let's, let's run quite fast. So this just talks about the different types of mental health problems that we can have. Anxiety problems, bipolar, sleep problems, depression, and all of that. So now, maybe the take home from this slide will be that anytime people hear about mental illness or mental health, the only thing that comes to the mind of people is Otiyawiri or the man roaming around the street. A quick one. I remember when um, I was done with medical school, did my housemanship, and I wanted to make a career choice to go to psychiatry. I had made up my mind I was going to psychiatry. Of course, that, the story is for under because I never wanted to. But I found myself there. I prayed about it. I was convinced, and I said, okay, it's fine. But you know, my, the parents will want you to be surgeon, this and that, gynecologist. So my dad was saying, so where are you applying to a psychiatrist? He said, psychiatrist. I didn't know the one that take care of uh, mad people. I said, it's not just mad people. And I'm sure that up to today, they still don't fully understand. One of those days also, I was, I work at UCH, so I was at the emergency outside. We had one patient causing problem, the mental health. So, by four, I didn't even know. I just cited my mom from afar. Apparently, she came with another woman to the emergency. They helped. She didn't tell me she was there. So she just saw me from afar. I was trying to, I was moving close to this patient that everybody was running away from. And I was hearing my mom's voice from afar. Spasumo! <laughs> and I was telling her, this is my work. You understand? That only goes a long way to show that many of us still don't understand what it means. So when we talk of mental health issues, it is not just the man displaying and walking naked on the street. Depression. Mr. A can be depressed and the person beside him does not know. You understand what I'm saying? Anxiety disorders. People just get unnecessarily apprehensive over nothing. 
over basic things of life. Sleep disorders, as simple as that. I know people that will pay you any amount for them to just be sleeping well. So those are just different, different. Please, let's just run so that. So what is the biblical perspective? You know, I, I'm sure that we know these things. Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. So it is a settled matter that that is the desire of God for us because God knows that we are only as useful to him as much as we are healthy. Is that right? No matter the assignment you have, the day you cannot stand up from your bed and you are shivering, are you able, are we able to do anything? No. Again, Proverbs talks about, he said, a merry heart is like a medicine. A broken spirit dries the bone. And that's the truth. When you see somebody broken spirit, depressed, mental health issues, it will affect everything about the person. The person is not physically sick, but it will affect the person. And Bible, the, in the wisdom of Solomon, he has said that a broken spirit dries the bone. But he said a merry heart is like medicine. You discover that when you are very happy, you hardly feel any problem. You don't have a headache. And depending on what gets us happy anyway, if somebody gets an alert of one million naira now, every problem he has might disappear. If he had a headache before, headache can disappear. So that is also quiet by Blicker. We have to run very fast so that we can. So now this is also important. Different causes of mental illnesses. It could be that it is just in the family line, genetics. We don't have control over that one. I don't have control over my forefathers, whatever they had. Whether it's hypertension, diabetes, mental illnesses, it happens. And God in his wisdom, he knows why these things are. He just only goes to a long way to tell us that we are men. We are not God. We are not immortal. So anything can happen. So maybe I should also highlight to the youth, substance use, that is the singular most important problem among the youth population now. Substance use. You get to our world, more than half of the beds are filled with young people using cannabis, using cigarettes, using heroin, using these. People in their young productive age, 22, 19, and the devil has so much messed up their life from the beginning that if they are not careful, they will not amount to anything. So I want to plead with us um, that God is going to help our youth. That we don't, get into, we don't get trapped in the web of substance use. Now, to the mothers, the important thing is birth issues. Where we give birth to our children matter. There are many children that the only reason why they are having mental health problems is not because they have it in the family or anything. It's because something went wrong during delivery. They did not cry immediately. The people that took the delivery were not experts. And any insult or damage to the brain at birth is irreversible. So then you have children having convulsion, having this. It is irreversible. So when they grow, they start manifesting different mental illnesses. So please let us note that for our learning. Now, the only thing I'm going to pick again from this slide is parenting. Parenting. Please, next couple of slides so that maybe we can just round up on that. We have different parenting styles. I really wish is a topic for another day. We have different types of parenting. There are people that, now, there's a concept of nature and nurture. Those are the things that develop, that um, determine what will be. Nature is genetics. What you do have control about. Your height, your weight, your many things like that. That they have just... Some people will not hit and they will go fat. Some people can hit everything in the world and they will never... It is nature. But there's also a, an environmental part of it. Yet parenting is part. How do we parent? Now there are four types of parenting. Authoritative, authoritarian, permissive and uninvolved. 
Now, an authoritative, authoritarian parent is what people call disciplinarian. They just lay down the rules and regulations. Can anybody master anything? Lay? So, the children at the end of the day, they can obey, but they turn out not to have independent reasoning. Sometimes they come down with anxiety disorders, depression, because they have never grown to be able to challenge things. So when we now talk of permissive parenting, those ones are the ones that they so much love their children that they don't correct them. Anything they want, I'm there for you. Uninvolved is the parents are doing their own. The children are just developing on their own. Anything they turn out to be is just whatever God helps them to be. So the best is the authoritative parenting. It balances discipline with love balances correction with training balances everything so but like i said it's a discussion for another day it's something that we can look at i thought that we have so plenty time let's just go because i put a lot of things that we can talk about about it let's 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 run let's run we are out of time let's run so the biggest misconception in our environment about causes of mental illness is what is spiritual but again, time does not, will not permit us. We must find the balance. I've seen many people say it is spiritual. And they did not bring the people person for treatment until everything was lost. Until it was lost. And what do I tell many of my patients? I say, please pray. I don't say you should not pray. If you want to bring a pastor to come and pray on the hospital, please bring. I will allow you. But let this person get treatment. Now I tell them that at the end of a few weeks, after we have treated, patient gets well. Does that not suggest to you that it was the drugs that we gave that made the patient well? Now, the balance is the fact that if God does not think that medications and doctors and healthcare workers are necessary, he would not have given us wisdom to do all these things. That, again, is part of the wisdom of God in man. So please, let's round up. I, I, don't, I don't think we'll be able to talk this. The, the myth and the fact, misconceptions about mental illness, I don't think so. Let's go. Okay, so I think we should just go to the last. How do we promote positive mental health? Apart from make a social connection, I think the only thing I'll mention here for the elderly one is stay active. Part of the problems we have seen in the very elderly ones, once they retire, they do nothing. And that is a very big invitation for mental health issues. Sleep problems, anxiety, depression, dementia. You must stay active. We tell people, if it is church that keeps you active, go. If it is landlord meeting and community association meeting, go. If it is functions and many things, just make sure that you are not redundant Sleeping, waking up, and say, my children are sending me money. You are not doing yourself a whole lot of good. In the last slide now. So, parenting issues, I trust that God is going to help us as parents. We'll balance things out for our children. Avoid substance use. And building resilience. This is the last slide already. So, I'm, I'm rounding up. So, in one minute, I just want to... How do we build resilience? That's a big problem we have at the moment. We have many, now we found that many university students, young guys, are coming down, breaking down. Why? We have found out that the problem is a resilience problem. All their lives, many of them were never trained for adversity. Primary school, they take them in the morning, come to pick them. In fact, in schools now, they don't even beat or correct children. It's a standing instruction. So nobody has ever trained, corrected, put them in adversity, they don't even fail children again in nursery and primary school. They don't know what it means to fail, to be disappointed, not to have money, for the economy to be tight. So the first time this guy now comes to school and has a carryover, he breaks down. So parents, please let us not contribute to problems for our children growing up. Let us train them to understand that life is in phases. Life can change. In life, 
there are times of abundance and times of adversity. Why many of us adults are, you see that in our generation, we didn't have many mental health issues. Many of us were trained in adversity. Many walk from home to school every, and we grew up to be resilient and to overcome the adversities of life. I pray the Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's jam those hands together one more time. You know, I am offending some people, but please don't be offended. Eh? Time is not our friend. You know, time is running. So we need to manage our time properly. So um, one thing I want to do in one, two minutes, I want to give opportunity for questions. One, two minutes. So if you have a question, I want to count now. Please um, don't let the spirit touch you. After somebody has asked questions and say, oh, the spirit touched me. You know, I didn't want to give testimony before because he gave his own testimony. You understand? So if you have a question, I want to see your hands. Okay. One, I'm counting now. After counting, there won't be opportunity for any other question. Okay. Okay, just one person. Going, going. Okay, two, gone. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. Okay, my question is this. So as a, as, let's say, a primary caregiver, as someone who is accustomed to, you know, giving them, treating people with mental health issues. For example, now, for somebody who is about to start, I mean, what are the steps? What are the approaches of, I know, you are seeing somebody that needs, I mean, that is in dying need of this help. And maybe the person is, does not even know that is in dying need of this help. So what are the steps to making this person become aware? And so if the person is already aware, what are the steps in, what are the first steps apart from empathizing with the person? What are the first steps of letting this person know that, okay, you need help and these are the necessary steps without making the person feel bad? Sorry, sir. Let's ask the second question so you answer. Thank you for the chance. I, I want to ask, based on the parenting part, uh, what do you do to your kid if um, you tell them something and they don't listen and the next thing they get back at you by telling you, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. What do you do? Like, is, it, is it personal or what, what do you do? Thank you very much. I think I should start with the second one. Now, I think I should start with the second one. Now, thank God that this is Nigeria. And it is not US or UK. Huh? I, one of the things is in psychology, in the training, we usually say that punishment and many other things, they are not cruelty. They are ways of training and conditioning a child's behavior. You will agree with me that many of us will not have turned out the way we turned out if there were no measures of punishment and correction. No child wants to go to school or do some good things. Sometimes we are forced to until we get to an age that you now realize that so they were not being wicked. So now you must be able to balance the fact that in our, you dare not even tell your parents that I don't like you, who are you? So you must be able to and again, one thing we advise is that punishment should not be deferred. Punishment should be given immediately with explanation as to you did this. It, that's why you are doing this. And after a few minutes or whatever it is, you embrace the person and you say, if you do it again, and we also say in psychology, if you say, if you tell a child that if you do this, I'll punish you, fulfill your promise. If you don't fulfill it, that child will learn never to take you serious. No matter how short the duration of punishment, fulfill that promise so that the child knows that these things have consequences. Later, as the child grows, the child will move from an orientation of avoiding consequences to understanding. But young children, they cannot understand it. They cannot. So it is your responsibility to make them 
understand it. Without being mean, without being cruel, with a lot of love, compassion, and understanding. I pray God will give us wisdom. Second, now, there are categories of mental illnesses. There are some mental illnesses that takes away the ability of that person to know that there's a problem. There are some that the person knows. The person is the one that will come and say, something is wrong with me. While there are some that every other person will see that there's a problem, except the person. In such kind of a situation, no matter how you explain, the person will not see it. The honors usually now lies on the people around, relatives, friends, caregivers. Many times to bring the person, even against his will, for care. We have provisions in the law of mental health that governs that, that says that we can even involuntarily admit people. And it is backed by the law. In as much as we can provide evidence that this person is not well. And many times, as they settle, they start seeing it. You understand what I'm saying? So that is the way to go about that. But if you tell a mentally, severely mentally ill person that, oh, let me try and make you understand, go. The person will not go. And the longer the person stays out of treatment, the more dangerous the person can become. Does that answer it a bit? Just a bit, a bit. So, for then, what can we do? Like I said, if you have assessed the person, you have talked to the person, the person does not see it. Sometimes the safe thing for you is not to keep pushing. Talk to the relatives or the people around of how you can get the person to care and treatment. But if it is mental illnesses that the person sees it, understands it, sometimes regularly talking to the person can be a form of therapy that helps the person till the person sees an expert. Better be. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. So if you have any further question, please, you can see him behind. God bless you. Thank you for that. Now, I want to announce to us that if you have missed um, the previous version of the wisdom of God in man, don't worry, you can still benefit from what has happened in the past if you look behind there there are so many resources from um, past editions of the wisdom of god in man so you can visit the table at the back there just get one for yourself you have other resources there you have musics um, spiritual music that would bless your soul from different ministers you have drama um, um disc there you can get one for yourself and i pray as you do so you'll be blessed in jesus name amen so it's another time to be blessed now you know we have been sitting sitting and we have been blessed now it's time to also give back to god and i can assure you that if you connect your heart to this you will surely be blessed so join me as I welcome Lady Evangelist Kenny Ologoara, so popularly called Mama Sachs. Let's them hands together for Jesus. Let's them hands together for Jesus as she comes up.
somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. A living so in the building, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think we're warming up. Allah ye the conoban your long wall. By the time you look at the situation of Nigeria, you won't even look at someone beside you before you dance. Yes. By the time you dance, you forget your sorrow. Yes. But let me speak this into your life. As a child of prophets, as a daughter of prophets. Daddy, mommy, I speak this into your life. I know by this time people have been giving you gifts. You have been collecting gifts, but I say this into your life. They will not give you a cup gift in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wave your hand to the King of Glory. Wave your hand to the King of Glory. Wave your hand to the King of Glory. Appreciate God from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, December. The Lord that has been keeping you and your family. Appreciate Him. Say something good about Jesus. Say something good about Jesus. Say something good about Jesus.
alaye bi awo meseju yen soke live up your two and three king of glory and if you je ko so no ta bi ta ra to mo to mo owo e gbe re owo ko re owo apo tu o ra ya re owo wo ju o ra mo to ko wo january olohun ti o je ko so nu ni ne olohun ti o je ko ju nu ni ju olohun ti o je ko so nu ni ju like come on lift up your two hands Say thank you to Jesus. What's all we pay? And you now go to the college to pay. Oh, so we go now go to the Louisiana store. Hey, let's go. Hey, now we go to the party. I want to buy, to buy, to buy, to buy some things. I used to say wherever I go to, yeah, me I'm not say for the day I know. Too many thoughts on the low matu. So far, I let no one see I let you lay. So we pay a million rochile. A million rochile. I be sure I love rochile, ni ma. A million rochile. What we pay a million rochile? For the two thousand. So we go to rochile. We be sure we show up. And we go to rochile. I share no way to let my boy do. I want to pay, to pay, to pay, to pay for the two. And we say a million rochile for the two thousand. We go to rochile. MC Motiri ni mo ma gbe mic sile Sugba la ye mo fe je ko ju to yen bi eleyi lo soke ko gbe soke ko gbe sile Oya ndi ti mo fi ye baba tu o mi e mo ma Papa tudududu sudududu sudada sudada Ala ye to wa ti pari wo go 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 Hallelujah. Shudu, shudu, shudada, shudada. Oh, juma ru ba jani. Oh ya, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Oh yeah, you do see more things in the past. Oh, you do see more things in the past. Baba da osi pate wa yo fun aru po ojo Baba si ologo pariwo go 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 Mo ma so ti ba ti so eyi bo mi raye so wo dada Tori eyi bo yen mo lo ahon mi O mo lo ahon mi Shuba ti ba so Yoruba la ni awon Yoruba I know there's some people here that don't understand Yoruba but let ni o ma understand ye to ri eyi e de ti Olorun fe gbo ni time yi ni ye Yes sir Can you please lift up your two hands and say thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Hallelujah O da mi si O da o si Mommy O da o si Daddy O pa o mo Bono te bi ti le re Ah O pa o mo O da o si Ti le te bi mi Ko je kot Ala mo si o je ki o sa ko go go Alamu si o je ki awo ni ki ko gbo go lori ati ati e bi o ta ati e ni bi se fe ko ri olohun ti o je ko ri be idi ti mo fi baba 
Let's lift up our two ends. One more time, meet it. Ah, he carried me. When so carried your cross. Ah, he fought for me. When some fights for the ghost, he lifted me. When some lift your ghost, hey, 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 Jesus, you know they lose me. But when it's over, like about to be a pause, let me hear a word. When it's over, like about to be a soft way, yeah. So we pay multi bop pata pata, multi bop pata pata, show sorrow. I want a job, I want January 2023. You go when it's over, so we pay multi bop pata pata, multi bop pata pata, you go Jesus. So I share, cause you know I go when it's all one be. Be a bad talk or lock with in your new area or do. Jane Sonny, your mama to sign English letter. I only if you post it to all of the local conscious. In your twenty, no man lover. Simba Saga, we pay. I'm Lucy Jade. I want to. I want to see a music beja de dampi no one yet be lay. So Obama we go one in one. I want to see a music beja de mommy. When you are caught on the government, she must be a one cock or what in your bunch. You must want to be a lay in it. She must be a cock on the government. I'm calling so much right. What's he brought? Pata pata. What's he brought? Pata pata. Oh yeah, I know you can do it. What you got to do? 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 We say I know you can do it. What you got to do? What you got to do? What you got to do? So what? What you got to do? What you got to do? We say I know you can do it. What you got to do? What you got to do? What you got to do? Mosibapata, <laughs> Mode peje ki aye la ye ko do wem o uto ma ma so na ni pe mo ti bo pata bo pata pata tu o jesus jo bi eni to ba wa legbe bo ba ko ti o fe bo ba mi help e o ya nu ti pe mi jade o mo ti bo pata pata mo ti bo pata mo ti bo pata pata mo ti bo pata o ya nu ti pe o jade o mo ti bo pata Mami, bana, shoti ba, moba, shoti ba, moba, shoti ba, shoti ba. Sawa sote, mi obweke. Sawa nya dada, shoti ba. Oya anu si pe mi jade, mo si ba 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 ba, mo si ba, mo si ba 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 ba, mo si ba ba ba. Mo wa fe je ko shako se ni to wa legbe ma gbe ma excellence see the way you love me see the way you care for me you call in my heart for you see the way you love me hey see the way you care for me you call in my heart for you Shelata, what? 
Thank you, thank you. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Lady Evangelist Kenny Ologoara. So we are sorry for giving you such a short time. You know, we apologize for that. We know the time is too small. But please, let's just manage it like that. You understand? So, if you want to follow her on our social media handle, on Facebook, YouTube, Kenny Ologoara. Ologoara. Okay, Kenny Ologoara, Mama Sachs. You know, there are a lot of Kenny Ologoara, so that you know the one you are looking for. Kenny Ologwara, Mama Sachs. God bless you. One more time, please. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. One more time, we are going to pray. And I'm going to invite our daddy in the Lord to lead us just for 10 minutes. Join me as I invite Pastor Olubenga O Isaiah as he leads us in 10 minute prayers. God bless you, sir, as you come. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to rise up to worship the Lord for this wonderful moment. We are going to pray within the next 10 minutes. And I want you to worship your maker, the ancient of days. If you are sitting down, please worship him. Is the reason why you have been able to come here today. Without him, you are nothing. Without him, you can be nothing. Worship, lift your two hands and worship him. Hallelujah. I want you to worship him with a song. My faith is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust that is as free, but only lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is seeking. One more time, one more time. Oh, my feet. Wave your hands as you are singing that song. Malika Tayalabos. Jesus, blood and righteous. Oh, I cannot trust the sweetest dream, but only me. Jesus, on Christ's 
going to take our prayers from the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 15. Isaiah 60 verse 15. The Bible says we are out thou hast been forsaken and hated so no man went through thee I will make you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations. There's somebody here this morning. The Lord asked me to tell you that you are not going to go home the way you came in the name of jesus listen to that scripture we are asked you have been forsaken that no and you are hated so no man what man went through thee i will make thee an eternal excellency in your many generation i want you to pray to god even as you are come here today you are going to encounter god in a way that your life shall not remain the same. I want you to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I have come to your presence this morning. Every embargo that has been placed upon my life, Lord, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Pray to God. Tell the Lord and pray that, Father, because I am in your presence this day, Lord, remove every embargo, even from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to revoke the spirit of rise and fall. You rise today and tomorrow you fall. Pray to God. Every spirit of failure at the edge of my sources, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of rise and fall, every spirit of once at five steps forward and ten steps backward, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every power that is making me even to fall at the top of the ladder. Lord, destroy it in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. You are going to cry to God as this year is going to an end, crown the year with your glory for me and my family as 2022 is winding up lord crown this year with your glory for me and my family in the name of jesus crown the year with your glory with your goodness with your mercy in the name of jesus In Jesus' name we pray. We are very close to the University of Ibadan. So we have so many uh, scholars here. The way you are praying. Some are praying and they are sitting down. You will open your mouth to possess that which belongs to you. You are going to claim it. Praise the Lord. I want to rise up. You are going to demonstrate the next prayer. I can see everything. Turning around. Oh, Tony around, Tony around for my good. You can see everything. Turning around, demonstrate it. Turning around, ah, Tony around for my good. Hey, and everything. Tony around, Tony around, demonstrate it. Go remain in the same place. Everything, 
to cry to the Lord after this program. I don't want to remain the way I used to be. I don't want to be at the spot I want to be. The heavens will move me forward. Decree into your life in the name of Jesus. Heaven shall move me forward. The spirit of God shall move me forward. Even after this program. In the name of Jesus. Everything will work together for my good. In the name of Jesus. Everything will work together for my family. In the name of Jesus. Decree upon your life. Decree upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. When Ezekiel was to prophesy to those dry bones, God told him, Speak to the winds. Speak to the south. Speak to the east. Speak to the west. Speak to the north. So that those the strength shall come to those bones. You are going to speak to the north. You are going to speak to the south. You are going to speak to the east and north. And say, Father, wherever my destiny helpers are, connect me with them in the name of Jesus. I want you to turn to all the direction of the world. In the name of Jesus. I speak to the north. I speak to the south, I speak to the east and to the west. Where my destiny helpers are, Lord connects me with them. In the name of Jesus. Demonstrate it. Hallelujah. Speak to the north, yes. Ire mi la riwa, ire mi ni la oru, ni wa oru to mi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ire mi la riwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ire mi ni kusu, ire mi la riwa. Now begin to pray and say, Father, my helper in the south, my helpers are broad, my helper in the east, let them connect with me in the name of Jesus. They will not be able to sleep unless they locate me in the name of Jesus. The king could not sleep because he wanted to bless somebody. Lord, let those helpers, let them lose their sleep because they want to bless me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray. This is our, our year of Jubilee. And our daddy in the Lord, Pastor he had able, he told us that in the year of Jubilee, every lost glory shall be recovered. You are going to pray to God. Everything I've lost, even as a result of uh, maybe carelessness, whatever it is, all the years, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, the locust are eating. Father, return to me in the name of Jesus. Return to me. Rally catabro catayada. Lepre kete yelebo sotoria catayada. All the years I've lost, even in the wilderness, let me recover in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray that prayer in another dimension. You are going to pray. I pursue, I overtake, and I recover all. As this year is going to an end, that is what the Lord asked me to speak to your life. You are going to pray. That is the last prayer. Sing it. Hey. Motunga. Oh, you are not praying very well, brethren. Sing it well. Demonstrate it. Hallelujah. 
Lift your two hands unto the Lord. Seven prophetic declarations to your life. I decree in the name of God who created heaven and heart. From this moment, the Lord will count all your efforts. I said the Lord will count all your efforts. You shall never labor in vain. From today, I declare your heaven open. In the name of Jesus, I decree into your life and destiny, you are receiving a total turnaround. Everything will work for your favor. In the name of Jesus, as the year is going to an end, you shall never go as sorrow. You shall not weep over your family. You will not weep over your husband. You will not weep over your children. You will not weep over your wives. You will not weep over your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. From today, you shall move from glory to glory. Power to power. Blessing to blessing. Favor to favor. Anointing to anointing. In the name of Jesus. I decree into your life from today everything you have lost you are recovering them in the name of Jesus everything you have lost you are recovering them in the name of Jesus from today I decree for in the life of somebody you have been fighting unknown battles you have been fighting with powers that are beyond you. From today, power is changing hands. In the name of Jesus. From today, I decree the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah! Thank you very much, Dad. This is it. God bless you. Thank you for the prayer, sir. I, have, I want to inform us that we are here to be blessed today. So don't joke with any aspect of this program. Don't joke with any aspect of the program. I told you. Don't be casual if you are here to receive a blessing. And I pray that God bless us in Jesus' name. The former speaker told us that there's a difference between vision 
and ambition. Okay, very quickly, I want to test us. You know, when we send our children to school, now we want to test them. When they bring result and they score zero. Okay. When we send them to school, you know, and they score below expectation, we want to talk to them, we want to punish them. Okay. For those of us that were under that teaching, who can tell us the difference between ambition and vision? Difference between ambition and vision. If you don't raise your hand, I will call you. So just be praying inside. I should not come towards you. You know, and my spirit is going towards the youth. Uh -huh. So if I'm looking at you, just be praying. Because my spirit may be leading me to you. Okay, who will bail us out? Difference between vision and ambition. Ah uh ah, -uh. uh -uh. scholar and Bogoa now. Okay, don't worry. Use the spirit of God in you, the wisdom of God in men, the wisdom of God in men. Okay, yes, mommy wants to bail us out. Don't worry, I can still come to you. Just be praying. Thank you very much. And this is not in any particular order, not according to the dictionary, as it just occurred to me. Okay, I want to look at ambition. Although, let me just say, then I will explain. It can be short term. Vision, most times, is long term. However, ambition can move forward and also be long term. Thank you. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. One more answer before we go. I need... Okay. Okay. Please help us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's jam hands together for those that have responded. God bless you. Yes, doctor also told us very quickly. Doctor said he talks about parenting. Then he said he advised us to be one kind of parent. Who can tell me that kind of parent? Eh? You will explain, no? Just say it and explain. feeling shy. Our eyes is pushing her. Jesus is Lord. Okay. Authoritative. Authoritative. She said authoritarian. Is that correct? Is that correct? Uh-huh. Yes, I love this. It's not correct. Uh -huh. yeah, tell us. I think the, the, the speaker said authoritative when he said they will discipline with love. Then after the, like discipline the child, they'll come and they tell the child that this thing you did, don't do it again. So that as the child will get used to um, failure, so that as the um, child will get used to being told no, this thing you can't have this thing. Now. So when the child grows up, the child will be used to, okay, if I don't get this thing, it's not necessarily the end of the world. So he said authoritative. Thank you very much. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Yes, they are both correct. Just the explanation. He said that when we beat our children or when we chastise them, we should chastise in love. So, and after that, we should embrace them. You know, show them love. So that it's not just that we are punishing them just because we want to be a dictator or an authoritarian. Okay, mommy wants to say something. 
that's the last one before we go. Actually, it is permissive parenting. Permissive or permissive. You will have found that, okay, this thing, I don't want you to do it again. Authoritarian, we just decide. We got him offended. Oh, for that, no. That is not what is permissive. You permit, you tolerate, and you welcome them. Make sure you advise them when they are doing wrong. Okay. Thank you, my. Uh, it's a pity that doctor has gone, but I also heard authoritative when he explained that you punish them, then you tell them the reason why you are punishing them, and after a few minutes, you embrace them. So, please, let's leave the word ago alone. Oyibo can be, you know, confusing at times. You know, but the bottom line is correct, embrace, and, you know, show them love. May God bless us in Jesus' name. So, it's another time to worship and praise God. And please join me as I make welcome a man of God whom God has prepared to use for us at this time. In person of Oluwashei Phillips. Oluwashei Phillips. Let's jam hands together for Jesus. Oluwashei Phillips. Let's jam hands together for Jesus as we remain blessed.
Phillips, God bless you in Jesus' name. It's another time to be blessed with the word, undiluted word of God. Join me as I invite our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Peter Peters. Let's join hands together for Jesus as daddy comes up. Praise. The Lord. Shall we all rise, please? Hallelujah. 
children of God, come and shout a big hallelujah. We are all blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you so much for this solemn assembly. What you have been doing and what you have to do even now. I set our thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Bless the speaker. Bless the hearer. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Quickly let us take our seat. I want to bless God in the life of our Father, the visionary of this project. The ministry that has been blessing many souls. May God continue to be with him in Jesus' mighty name. The, uh, the assignment before me is this is titled Allow the Spirit to direct your life. The Bible guides Romans chapter 8 verse 14 John 40:26. John 1613. John 16, Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 16. We call it Allow his spirit to direct your life. Meaning, allow His Spirit to guide you. According to that passage, it says, how beat when the comforter, which is the Spirit of God, which is, which is the Holy Ghost whom my father will send in my name he shall teach you all things so if you don't allow the Holy Ghost to direct you meaning if you don't allow the Holy Ghost to guide your step you will forfeit his teaching. And you will miss, and you will surely miss the track. If you, you miss the track, you miss your destiny. So, so when they say allow the spirit to direct you, it means allow the Holy Ghost to guide you. Number two, it means allow the Holy Ghost to lead you. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 18. It says, if ye be led of the Holy Ghost, you are not under the law. So if you allow the Holy Ghost to direct you, you are not under the law. Oh, syllabe ofe. When we say the law, it means death. Automatic confusion. Problem. Wala. So the only the only time you can be free from the law, death. Confusion, failure, it is when you are led of the Holy Spirit. So when you allow the Holy Ghost to direct you, it means you are free from failure. Allow the Holy Ghost to direct you means allow the Holy Ghost to instruct you, to teach you the way to go. John chapter 16 verse, verse 13 
It says, when the spirit of the of truth is come. That my father shall send in my name. He will teach you truth. Praise the Lord. He will teach you what? Truth. What does that denote? Truth there means right thing for you to know. The right way to go. On a total the right path to partake and the word of God itself. So, so, if you allow the Holy Ghost to direct you, you are on the right path. And you will surely get your, find your bearing. You will get things done. Simply because the Holy Ghost has been guiding you. Has been teaching you. Praise the Lord. And you are. Now, when we say allow the Holy Ghost to direct you, there is a lot of revelations in, the, in, in God that God has for your life. I, I would like to read that passage. First Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 9. To 16. Praise the Lord. So if you allow the Holy Ghost to direct you, then he will reveal secret things that you do not even know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9. Oh, yeah? But as it is written, as it is written, I had not seen. Uh -huh. No ear had. Uh -huh. no, have, no, 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 don't rush it. Eyes have not seen. Eyes? No ear had. Have not had. seen. Or ear had. had. Uh -huh. Neither have entered. Neither has entered. Into the heart of man. Into your heart. Uh -huh. The thing which the only, which God which has God? prepared for them that love him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are a lot of things you need in life. That your eyes have not seen. You have not ever imagined it. We are asked, the Holy Ghost has it for you. And the only time you can get that is where you allow the Holy Ghost uh -huh, to direct you. And not, not of good things. That do not prepare for your life. That you need for lifting. That you need for enlargement. That you need for greatness. But nobody will show it, reveal it unto you until you allow the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Read for us. He says. Verse 10. But uh -huh. God hath revealed them. God, God has revealed it. Them unto us. Unto you. By his spirit. For the spirit such. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. God has done what? Has revealed it. Things that is in God that God has for your life that you do not. No. And if he and if he and can ho, he let you allow it let to fall. He was a man. We know that children you are a children of you are children of God. I'm a prayer on my own last year. But if Holy Ghost is not there, so my time more by Sinibe, you are as good as a non believer. Oh, that I do a life by Bolo. And you shall be walking ignorantly. You do fairly well. Your man, you know, I am the purpose of God for your life. I see it to a lot of fire. So, when God goes direct to you, he will bring some informations, revelations, innovations. I want to tell you, you need to fulfill your destiny. If you are a child of God, and you are not yet being filled with the Holy Ghost, you will pray too much. And you won't get your answer. Because what you need is not only in prayer but in revelations. You don't know. Who told you you not to pray? 
Who told you you know how to pray? Who told you? That you, you, know? are, you are you are a good prayerist. If only only God lead you through, teach you, instruct you what to pray about. If but you are not allowed to pray, but you are doing that. Oh, if but you pray, man, no suffer. You don't allow to pray. So there are so, a lot of things for you. I want to appease somebody here today. My friend Ben, I want you not to go to teach you to direct you. There is a lot of things from God the Father that He has for you to succeed in life. You can get there. Oh, lay. you allow Holy Ghost. I fit you back by Malaye. That is there. Why for that? Uh huh. For the Spirit searched. Uh -huh. All things for the spirit, such as all what? things, such as all things, yeah, yeah. the deep things the, of God. Wait, deep things that is in God. I want to kind of that in your eyes have not seen, <laughs> or your hair hard. <laughs> we are asked, God has it for you. <laughs> you, you, you can't know it. it, you can't get it. <laughs> I tell my battle suffer a lot of them. Until you turn your frequency to that place. And what you about mu a ton of re to about the talker CBT. Who is a successful man? Tanya Lepina Lasha Yori. Somebody that only go direct. And it's a man dalire. He can't fail. Kule Kuna. Allow him. Dalai. To direct you. Dalire. May God bless you. Kyolon Kubuko. Praise the Lord. And you lua. Let us rise up. I have 40 minutes before me. Uh, and I want to you leave you to so let, us, let us stand up. You will pray. May I tell you one of many reasons? That you must allow the ghost to direct you. So if you want to to direct Psalm 32. Uh, let's read Isaiah 48, verse 17. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you need, you see, if only God will direct you, that means you need Him in your life. Don't say the Lord. Just say the Lord. Isaiah 48, 17. Uh -huh. Thy Redeemer, yeah. the only one of Israel. The only one of Israel. I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord. Which teacheth thee teach to profit. How to succeed. That is one of the reasons. To succeed in life. That is succeed, that's one of the reasons. Psalm 38. We only that it. Read verse. Goji. 18. Psalm 38, verse 18. He says, Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Come and praise God. Amen. Psalm yes. 38, 18. Uh -huh. 38, 18. For I will declare my iniquities. I will be sorry for my sin. Verse 18. Eight, verse, eight. verse 8. I am feeble and so broken. I have roared by reason of the discreetness of my heart. Because Holy Ghost is not with him. He is not to be sorrow. That person will just be brought in and be sorrowful every day. Because there is no success. If anybody will be successful, Holy Ghost must be there for him or her. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. But the point is, are you, are you of the Lord? The Holy Ghost will not possess the man Satan has already possessed. If you still put on the Adamic nature, the nature of sin. Abuda Eshe. Holy Ghost will not come to inhabit your life, not to talk of directing you. 
Holy Ghost is for those that are surrendered totally to Christ. If you still put on the nature of flesh, nature of sin, Holy Ghost will not come on. Ti abuda eshe ati ti eran ara to ba si gbe wo e mo ko ni wa according to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 14 gege bi we romu ori ikejo ese ikerin la since as many that as are led by the spirit of god they are the children of god abe ko iye awon ti an dari lati owo e mo awon ni omo olorun o to so be ni wipe it is only those that are being called the Children of God that can have the Holy, that can be led of the Holy Spirit. In those on the way, I want to see over your mouth. Only daddy one. So I use this medium to appeal to somebody here. So please, I do not call you an unbeliever. I do not call you an unbeliever. I don't say you are a sinner. But if you still carry carnality, so my dear man, oh, oh, sit on Benny, no, eh, a Buddha, tear, more or less a sinner. Oh, fair, share, let's share. You see, but God can break you down today if he, if he allowed the Holy Ghost to minister to you. Let us pray now. Tell God. Confess your sin. Please, I want your prayer. I want to pray very well. I want to appeal to people on seat to please, to stand up, please. Apologies. Let us pray. Don't, don't pray. You are not silent prayer. You are not in You have been hearing your son from UI. Let's pray as children of God. But I'm standing before you today. Forgive my sins. Now, wait. Duro. You say you are not a sinner. You are not a sinner indeed. But there is one character habit that you have not forsaken. That habit is not in the hand of the Holy Spirit. It belongs to the devil. We are not saying you are a sinner, but there is something in your life that so, God detests. Lord, remove that habit from me. I want to be born again today. I want to be broken down today. Lord, begin to pray. Keep on praying, my friend. Pray, pray. Father, save my soul today. That particular habit. That particular conduct. Father, I don't want it any longer in my life. In the mighty name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Come into my life. Get me born again. Begin to mention such such words, bad habit, bad conduct. Begin Bere to me, mention it. And deal with it yourself. I don't want you again in my life. Oh, fair man, you know, me. I bet fire them, destroy them, Power. tell them to live your life. Suffer, you know, fire, yeah, let's see, let's. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. 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 Thank you. Pray, 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 pray. If you're not born again, it won't come to your life. I bet be beware of pomposity, spiritual pride. Pray, you are not a saint. Let us pray very well. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. A resounding amen. 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 And I ask the spirit of adoption to enter into our hearts to get us born again today and write our name in the book of life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let us pray. 
Let us invite that power. Power of good ideas. Power Power of revelation. When there is revelation, you will develop. When there is revelation, there is going to be, you see, innovations. Messages, knowledge, understanding. Your life will go forward. Let us invite Holy Ghost to come. To to possess, all the ghost possessed me. And that is the prayer. Me possess me. me I, I don't know whether somebody is hearing me. Oh, my I'm, I'm here me. before you today. Oh, I be no Holy Ghost me me possess me. me. Prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus hey, Christ. Bro. Come into my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 He who want to go ahead. And it's your affairs. Why do? To be ahead. To fed the olori. A leader, a dali quality one, a tio nyanti was allowed the Holy Ghost. Oh, what a bad malay! Yesterday, anointing you have, I'm a foreigner, Tiana, a yitioni, it's not sufficient for you today. Go to four or four shet your name, you still need fresh anointing upon your life. Oh, no, no, I'm not only a total today's problem. Nothing you do is so rot you, and if you are not empowered, you cannot get people empowered. Oh, lay well, you know, like if you lead, if you will lead, if you be, if you want to become a quality leader, not by. Not by your wisdom, but by the power of the Holy Ghost you have. And the Holy Ghost in you is not enough to do that assignment until you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Come upon me. I want to make a mark. I Lapa, I, I want to I want to succeed. Come up to my life. What's your real If you are a child of God, now listen to this. The gift of God will not manifest just as a child of God until you are endued with power from above. Are you getting my point? You want to praise the Lord. You want to be useful for him. Adi? Not just by the little amount of only. Holy Spirit, you have in you. You cannot get the work done. The minute you can, you know, you can't go to that. You shall not be a child of God. Immediately you become a child of God. There is a level of anointing uh, of all Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. In you. But you cannot be useful to that extent. So, when you are empowered, so when you are empowered, that it will bring ginger. Gift that is in you. And you will be so relevant to your generation. Holy Ghost. Possess me. Baby one. Turn it to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit and power possess me. I receive Holy Ghost. Relevance, it is by Holy Ghost. Over by Bamu and money. Effectiveness, it is by Holy Ghost. Kyo Jafafa and money. You want to fight your bearing, it is by Holy Ghost. Over Yana, by your and money. Revelation from God, it is by Holy Ghost. If you are not your dollar and money. To understand the Holy Scriptures, it is by Holy Ghost. Ki, we must call a year and money or share. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. The power of Holy Ghost. 
but my son in any can yaga my son. Just I receive, repeat that. I receive Moba, the power of Holy Ghost. Emma, continue saying, ba, ba, I receive so, Moba, the baptism if, if of Holy Ghost. Emma, I become another man today. But yeah, lo, mena, lo, ni, today, lo, ni, I become but the, another man an elo, in the law, lo, lo, in lo, my lo, ministry, lo, in lo, my vocation, lo, lo, in the name of Jesus, lo, lo, in, lo, lo, in lo, my lo, business. Lo, lo, I receive Moba, power of Holy Ghost. Emma, in the name of Jesus, my heart okay, is circumcised I by the me. power of Holy Ghost. I pray, 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 pray. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Moba. I receive. Moba. The power I of Holy Ghost. Emma. Thank you, Father. Baba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Give me in five minutes. Thank you. God bless that fellow. Your right hand. Stretch forth your right hand. No, what to see what you sorrow that that I want you to speak out. Oh, 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 you want to let you want me. You have spent money to be here. I get a jacky over your coffara hand. Let me pack me cake, banty, and you have a cake. And so that you can receive what the person plans for you. Speak out. I'm a jaja, a sorrow that. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, you say it. In a memo, I will be a sorrow. Holy Ghost fire. In a memo. Holy Ghost fire. In a memo. Descend on this heart. Suck in the name of Jesus. Don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. Yeah. Don't pray yeah. Thank you. Don't don't pray here. Yes. I'm going somewhere. If you can't even oh, yeah, say it again. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, yeah. In a memo. On this palm. Amen. I mean. You will lay that hand on your head. I'm coming. Not yet. You oh, will, we are one on you lay there. your hand. Not yet. You will lay let her lay that hand on your head. I want you to, I want you to do two things. The first, first, I want it to come upon you. The second, I want that power to deliver you. Holy Ghost fire! Fire, fire, fire. Ina, 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 everywhere, Ina, fire, receive, 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 fire, Ina, in the name of Jesus, Lord come Lord on, Jesus. receive, Ina, fire, Ina, of Holy Ghost, Emma, let there be quietness, 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 Receive fire as you lay that hand on your head. Say fire. So you know? Say it. Three times. A meta. Fire. Fire. Seven times. Seven times. Fire. 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 Hey. Maya da bata prakatayash. So they, you become a new man. And that is your sickness gone. I sare Your bondage disappears. Your problem vanish. Every bondage broken. I release you by fire. I release you by thunder. You are totally liberated. That particular reproach that you carry to this place today is no more there with you. What the mother's going to do about to twins? Your ways are blocked. You have blocked you. As you are leaving this place, go and prosper. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank 
Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Let us just say, Daddy, God bless you. More strength in Jesus' name. We are still in the attitude of praying to God. And God is still dealing with us. So join me as I make welcome Pastor Ade Soji as he leads us into another session of prayers. Let's them hands together for Jesus. If you are clapping, clap unto Almighty God. Unto Him alone, unto Him alone. The glorious God, the mighty one in battle, the Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, the excellent God. Ah, sitting down worshiping your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about the King of Glory that is higher than the highest, that is greater than the greatest. One near your country, and you but we are the God that has never died and he will never die hallelujah if I can stand before you here and be talking about a God I know what he has done in my life that's why he has given me joy he has given us joy let somebody shout hallelujah Kotito, oh yeah shout hallelujah the God that forgiveth your sins always. He said he has quickened you with, together with Christ and he has raised you even when you were died in sin. Hallelujah. Even when you were dead in sin. Going by what the, the, the sins of many days. Every day, every day sin. You are not so, I myself am not supposed to be living. And here you are I want you to glorify God. Mutila yoni nu Jesu. Hallelujah. Hey. Hora mi pada. Hallelujah. Siti ya ele mi o ma Hallelujah. you are going to sing it because this is prayer and the prayer warrior will do the prayer the way they're supposed to do hallelujah oh yeah shame just yesterday I was to be put to shame somewhere I was to travel to a kitty state and I didn't have money I wanted to go and do something there and if I did not go shame will come and then we ask which you, uh, you used to go to church which kind of God are you serving every spirit everything that is asking that where is your God Today, they will know your God. Amen. After this prayer, all the prayers you are going to pray, I said they will know your God. Amen. I went to uh, the Mount Carmel, if I were, and we came back, and I heard there that God used to call somebody by, I've been reading about that by name, but just yesterday, for instance, and I called God, oh Lord, call me by name. That is your first prayer. Because by the time God calls you by name, every situation, ugly situations in your life will be a thing of the past. Amen. 
I say it shall be a, a thing of the past. And I call God, oh Lord, call me by name, by my name. All of a sudden, as I was praying, God called me, Adesoji. I heard him calling me my name, Adesoji. All of a sudden, right there, sleep took me away. And I was sleeping there. And somebody handed a check Hallelujah. to my hand. It was an alert that woke me up. A lot of 50,000 era. And the person called me and I said, I don't know, you said you were going somewhere. That's why I sent this money to you. I said, for what? He said, go and come back. We did this, and I was going like this. Muti lion in no Jesus. Hallelujah. If you can sing this song. Jesus, you are going to say, you demon call cancer. You demon call cancer. Enough is enough. Pack your Lord from the land. Oh, you cry. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, Lord of mercy. Everyone, oh, Lord, that is carrying cancer. Oh, mighty God. You demon cancer. Oh, yeah, pack your load in the mighty name of Jesus. Pack your load in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, man. Please, you may be asking, why is this man talking like this? This is what I carry from that place. And I say, no one will be carrying cancer again in the mighty name of Jesus. What is unusual treasure where you are carrying cancer and you are, you are spending all your money? And the doctors are saying, let's manage him. Let's manage her. Everyone carry cancer today. There shall be healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness that resembles cancer. Every girl growth in the house now. Oh yeah, now let there be healing now. You are going to say, Father, arise, arise, arise. Arise and uproot cancer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uproot cancer now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uproot cancer. Uproot cancer. Uproot cancer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Not by my power, not by my mind, but by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is saying, everyone that is sick here. You are going on free, freely in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I say you are a free person. Ah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because today, because you are becoming, you know, all the way, you know, from 14 years ago. By now, all you are be getting, you are not supposed to carry sickness again if you are be attending this program. Thank God for the convenient convenient of this program. I glorify God for his life. But we have come to pray. You are going to say fire. Fire of Almighty God. Consume every sickness in the land. If my people that are called by my name can pray. Oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. In the land of every cancer. In the land of Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the land of Lord. Hey man. By this, by this reason now, you will know that there is God. Called the God of, you know, wisdom of God in man. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, what can we do unto these people? They gathered them together. They wanted to put them to shame. He said, what can we do to these people? That notable miracle is being done in their life. You are going on with notable miracle. I don't know the notable miracle you need now. You are going to cry and say, Father, let there be notable miracle in my life, O oh Lord. Let there be notable miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, let there be notable miracle. Thank you, Father. Amen. Though they have invited me to come and pray with this part of our, our program. You know, Elijah came when the children of God were in problem. When there was prophet of Baal and there were problems in the land. This project has come because of certain problems that we are having in the land. I, how can I buy before coming to this place I bought for 300 naira. But you and I can settle the case here. Just by the spirit of almighty God. You are going to say, Father, in this land called Nigeria, oh, yeah, begin to talk to, talk to almighty God. Oh, thank you, Father. Begin to call. Begin to say it. Oh, Lord, heal our land. Heal our land. Are you praying? Do you love this land? Thank you, Jesus. Hey, man. Come and see the light. The light of God. Come and see the light. Hallelujah, amen. Come and see the light, the light of God. Come and see the light, oh, hallelujah, amen. Jesus Christ said, He is the light. And light shines into the darkness, and darkness comprehends no. Everyone in Jesus Christ here, anytime you go to the place of darkness, light will shine in the mighty name of Jesus. I said light will continue to shine. Amen. Thank you everlasting God. Glory be unto almighty God. Wave your hands unto him. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Daddy, thank you for that prayer session. God bless you in Jesus' name. I want you to be aware that it's not time to leave. We are getting closer to the session of scholarship and elders' welfare. So I want to announce to you it's part of the package. So let, let's just be patient and let us watch out for this. And may you be blessed in the name of Jesus. We're going to another session. And this is also for 10 minutes. I'll be inviting our dad in the Lord, Pastor Alabi, for another wonderful session. Let's jam hands together for Jesus. Brethren, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brethren, shall we please rise just two or three minutes? Amen. Our assignment here is very simple. Prophetic declaration. But before we declare, I want you to speak unto God. 
The book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Chapter 2, verse 7. Let somebody 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Somebody there, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Okay. Praise the Lord. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breath into him into his nostrils, the breath of life. A man become a living soul. Amen. Unusual treasure. What is unusual treasure in the life of a man? What differentiates this man from another man? What made Daniel unique in his generation? What made Joseph to stand out during its own time? The breath of God. Amen. We will pray. Just one or two minutes. Say, Father, breathe into me your breath of life. Breathe into me, Lord. Brethren, when you see a man almost all, all throughout the world now, everybody is celebrating our daddy. Our daddy is in the Lord. That they are the way that they come with and, and, and others and others and others. What made them unique? They went to university like every other person. They pass out, they did this, they did that. At a particular we go to church. Before our brothers, we call bro, our bros. No, we don't say pastor, we don't call anybody pastor then. But when bros, Yes, I can see some daddies smiling. You remember, uh, Brady boy is coming from Lagos. Rakumuji zebra. We don't, yes, we don't call anybody pastor. Praise the Lord, bro. Everybody's bro. Holy Ghost moving. You see people weeping. People weeping. He has not even spoken a single word. Just looking at the picture, people are already broken down everywhere. Then I ask God, God, the anointing there, where is it? Are we entertainers this this? We entertain, we sing, we, we dance, we throw tears, we do all this. But the power of the Holy Ghost. Fellowship days. You see somebody who could not talk. Dump, speaks, miracles. Ordinary fellowship days. Miracles everywhere. Brethren, before we declare, we are going to pray that prayer again. Brethren, the world does not need entertainers. The world is looking for solution providers. Amen. So much problem all over the world. I listened to our daddy, Gio, yesterday night, and my heart, he said, ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, money. Ah! To be covered by a be big way. I once, once saw you, Ruba. He doesn't know you could, you had yesterday night. Once saw you, Ruba, give me a big way. Ah, one like Paul Lua. But if I have one like Paul Lua, that's all right. Ah! I listen, money. No, look at the groaning. One like the Poloto. Brethren, I want to go. One like Paul. When you go, 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 you go,
Go ye anybody man. When our leaders are saying, look, look, you are on your own, look for solution. Go ye a man man. The world is looking for solution provider, not entertainers. You are going to pray. Joseph became solution providers. Daniel told the king, King, don't destroy all the wise men. We have a God. Just give us few. We are coming with solution. And by the time Daniel and his brethren came, they came with solution. You are going to be solution providers from today in the name of Jesus. I'm going to tell the Lord again. Father, that special breath that will make me a solution provider to my generation. Breathe into me, Lord. The anointing, Lord. The anointing. Ah! You are the one who anointed Daniel. You anointed Joseph. Oh, they shook their generations. Kings. Nations celebrated them. Lord, breathe into me. That special anointing, Lord. That special anointing, Lord. That special fire, Lord. That your special breath, Lord. Breathe into me, Lord. Breathe into me, Lord. Breathe into me, Lord. Pray, brethren, before we declare. Pray. 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 Sheila, the, the, Anna has been going to Shiloh for several years. But a day came. Yes, the declaration was made. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Almighty God. We come unto you, Father. Cry unto you, Father. Oh, Lord. We want to be solution providers. We want to touch our generation, Lord. There is confusion all over. Mali makabo broka bo ba 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 shanda makambo la bali bo koko broka po pa la bali bo kumba shanda mali makoka pa li mo kumba shanda rikambo bo 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 li bo koko pre kambo li mo kumba shanda Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, breathe into us, breathe into your children, love, breathe into your children, love. Rekeboni makambo balapuri makambo shanda. Rakamoma malamola makuri makambo bashanda. Your special anointing, Lord. Your special fire, Lord. Release into us your children. Almighty God. As from now, O oh Lord, use us as instrument of honors. This is you. Where else? Where else? friend come I don't think what we are looking for is here oh. uh, look uh, search it search it very well yes search it is it there ah so what do we do hello good afternoon good afternoon hope all is well no Are you 
looking for something? Yes. Yes. Uh, and have you found it? Ah. Uh. Obviously, no. We have not found it. And we are still searching for this thing. And if we have seen it, we will have stopped searching. And as you can see, we have searched and searched and, and still searched. searching. We have not seen it. There's no trace. Oh. Uh. It's not there. That thing must be very, very precious. Very, very precious. Very, very precious. It is the answer to our world. Our generations, they need it. Ma, we are doomed. If this treasure does not manifest, look around you. Chaos, confusion, so many problems, all because this treasure is missing. And unfortunately, we've lost our ways in the course of searching for this treasure. Yes. We are. So, something is hidden. Something is hidden. We are, we are not getting something. Ah, obviously. Obviously, you are not getting it. Truly, you are lost. Ah, you are lost. You don't understand. You have missed the way. you are looking for is actually inside of you. If you don't unleash it to start manifesting the purpose of God for your life now, I tell you there will still be more calamities in this world. There will still be more problems. Yes, because you are wasting away. You are wasting the resources inside of you. Look inward. Discover yourself. Unleash the treasures by unleashing yourself. Break the cage of self and see fulfillment. Don't be a waste. Because if you die like this, if you die without manifesting this purpose, I doubt if you will make heaven. Even if you make heaven, ah, if I could have the opportunity to be in charge of gate of heaven, I will flood the nonsense out of you. Because you will not enter heaven. I would rather send you back to hell. Why? Because your life is a waste. And you are coming back to the heaven with what they don't need in heaven. Don't be a waste. Unleash the potentials in you. Look inward and stop looking outward. Stop looking for people to do what you are meant to do. Be the solution to your generation. Be the answers to the prayer. Some people are still on the mountain. From one prayer program to another. Pray. For you to happen because you are their answers. But here you are, you refuse to happen. Busy looking around, jumping from one place to another, looking for what is not lost. And you think God will be happy with you? I challenge you to unleash the treasure in you because the treasure is actually in you. The unusual treasure is actually hidden in you. You are actually the unusual treasure that the whole world is waiting for to manifest. You have four things to do. Number one, walk the right path. Number two, retrace your step. Retrace your step. Thank you, you call that. Retrace your step. Number three, discover yourself. Know who you are. Number four, unlock the cage of self. Oh, and come out. Unlock the cage of self and come out because it is in you. You better go now and go back to where you have missed it. Go on now and stop looking for what is not lost here. Go back to where you have missed it. Go and identify your way because Jesus is the way. So if you have missed the way, you cannot get it though. Go and identify the way. Jesus is the way. When you get the way, then he will help you to discover who you are. He will remind you of who you are. He will give you your means of identification again that you are the son of God. You are the royal priesthood, a holy nation. Oh, the generation is waiting for you to happen. If you don't happen, nothing will happen. Oh, dear, dear. I hope we are not just slapping. 
I hope somebody is praying and say, God, help me to discover myself. God, help me to know you. It's not just about clapping. Somebody talk to God. Somebody talk to God. Talk to God. God, help me to know you. Help me to know you more. Help me to know you more. Let us desire more of him. We are the hidden treasure. It is until when you discover yourself that you can see the unusual treasure. Tell God, God, help me to know you more. More of you. More of you. More of you. Jesus, more of you. I want more of you. I want more of you. Jesus, the more I know you, is the more I want to know you. Jesus, more of you. Just talk to God. God, I want more of you. Lord, I want more of you. Lord, I want more of you. Lord, I want more of you. What is inside of you? What is inside of you? What do you carry? What do you carry? Just talk to him. Jesus lives inside of me. I carry Holy Ghost. I carry fire. I can't be fire. Say, Jesus lives inside of you. Jesus lives inside, Jesus lives of, inside me. of me. I carry Holy Ghost. I carry Holy Ghost. Hey Jesus, Jesus. Oh, somebody speak out, speak out. His spirit is coming upon you now. His spirit is coming upon you now. He's coming upon you now. Maladaba shatate dabo. He's coming upon you now. He's coming. Just speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Haya labo si kaya le Hey Jesus, 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 Touching life, making treasures discovered in men. Hey, just speak to him, speak to him, Jesus. Hey, Holy Ghost, this is your hour. This is your hour, Jesus. Jesus, this is your hour. Hey, the mighty man is here. The mighty man is here. The mighty man in battle. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lord, may your spirit fill our hearts in Jesus' name. And let your spirit dominate our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Before I hand over to our daddy in the Lord, the convener of this program, I don't know if the internet is up now. Is it up? Yes. Something happened last year. 
that God puts into the heart of men that we should sow seed into this ministry. Pastor Shergo, please, can you come forward, sir? Daddy did not send us to do this, but I want to remind us, I'm taking us back the um, memory lane. And we all agreed last year, sir, that a website should be built where people can donate. So I'm happy to announce to you that the website is up now. Let's get our hands together for Jesus. So I just want Brother to say one or two things. I'm going to lead us to the website. Show us one or two things again before I hand over to our daddy in the Lord. Now, is it possible for us to project the, the link? Or how do we get the link? How do we get the link across to the people? Bro, Peter. All we need to do is just let us call out the link. Let us send the link to people. Let's click on it and so into Hallelujah. what God is doing in this place. So if we look at um, the flyer with us, the website is there, www.rexme.org R-E-X-M-I dot O-R-G Rexme.org Now, yes, this is the website. Call it again, sir. www dot dot Rexme R-E-X M I. Now, praise the Lord. Is it possible? Can we just use a moment? Can we bring out our phone? Is it possible to quickly log on into that? Yes, sir. What when, website? Can we yes. do that in a moment? Logging to www. At least we want to see two or three people logging in. Let's log in to www. If you are here, just wave Rex your hand. Rex me. If you are here, just. I can see one or two hands up. Can we see our hands up? You are there already. Let me see your hands up. You are there. Raise your hands up. Rexme.org. One. Okay. www. Is it accessible? Is it accessible, sister? All right. R e x m i. R e x m i. Dot o r g. So then, the donation session. Just click on donate now. So you see donate now there. Click on donate now. Okay. Now the reason why I'm bringing us to this place is I want to explain this part. Now we have two parts of this. We have give once and we have give monthly. Now if you want to be a covenant partner, you want to give on monthly basis. Now what you, what you do is you click on monthly. Now the... the um, advantage of this is that once you set your monthly target what you'll be given monthly you don't need to come back here next month automatically the money will be deducted from your account every month that's if you are giving monthly but if you want to give once you want to do it yourself probably you felt that okay it is anytime you want to give that you want to give you click on give once, then follow the details here. So, there are um, various options available there. You can, uh, for those watching online, you can um, give in Naira, you can give in dollars, you can give in whatever currency is available on the page. Just follow the information. So, the same thing for giving monthly, follow the information. So, then, you will be able to sow a seed to this uh, ministry. Now, before I drop the microphone, there's another session on this website that allows you to become a member of this ministry. Now, if you want to become a member of this mission or ministry, can we go back? Okay. S scroll down. Okay, so we can see everything that has been done 
in the past on this website. All right. So you see, just scroll down. You see, join us now. Let's click on that. Now you see the form. If you want to be a part of the ministry. So just click on the form. Fill the details. And you know, it will get to us. God bless you as you do this in Jesus' name. So can we jam our hands together for Jesus? So if you want this ministry to keep growing, but then daddy do not want this, but God dropped it in the heart of some people last year that this should be done. So if you want to support this ministry, that you support or not, God is the support. Now this ministry has run for 14 years and God has been faithful. And I know it can never go down now. It will keep getting stronger and stronger in Jesus name. Now if you notice this is not this was not where we used last year. But we are expanding, right? Do we notice the expansion? We are moving higher and higher in Jesus name. Join me as I invite our dad in the Lord the convener, the one whom God has committed this ministry unto, our daddy in the Lord, Pastor Oshi Soya. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. Don't worry, he's a learned person. We don't want to be calling his title. So, but he's a very powerful man of God. Please, can we honor God in his life by standing up? Thank you very much. God bless you. I would like to appreciate everyone. And before I appreciate everyone, I believe it is necessary for me to provide this, that our gathering today, indeed, it is a miracle. That we are here today, you are going places in the name of Jesus. You shall be great in the name of Jesus. Every year, God is doing his own wonders. And today, he has brought a wonder of faith to hear, to stand upon the podium that great men of God has used today. Therefore, join me to pray for this, my daughter, that the Lord of my God will bless her from glory to glory, from power to power. Receive action now to fulfill your purpose. In the name of Jesus, the real friend mission international is being conditioned by God to divinely empower people to fulfill purpose. Therefore, the spirit of Most High God brought you here, and therefore you are celebrated. In the name of Jesus, the glory of the Almighty God shall be risen upon you, and it will shine forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. What's your name? Elsa. Speak louder. What's your name? Elsa. 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 God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are a fine girl. Clap your hand together, being a fine girl. That's good. Well, I am saying, the slide number two, that our gathering today, indeed, it is the miracle of the Almighty God. Gathering people together. It has been by God, year by year. Edition number one to edition number 14, it has been by God. And therefore, we celebrate Jesus. And as we are celebrating Jesus, we also celebrate men. So you will join me as we have been told by God that we should offer him. Some of us will know that what we're doing here is purely being instructional. It is not what man wants, but what God wants. So therefore, God has inspired us that this year, we should sing three hymns. So we are going quickly now, over there, one after the other. Now, God Almighty God has done it. To God be the glory. 
are pressing up on the upward way. We are pressing up on the upward way.
Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest wind, but holy name, by Jesus' name. On Christ the Son, He brought my sin. On other ground, He sink His sand. When darkness seems to fill his face, I rest on this unchanging grace in every night and stormy glare. My anchor holds within the veil. All other ground is sinking sand. This boat is up, then and then blood supports me in the wormy flood. When all around my soul gives way, it and is gone. Open stay on Christ the Son, he brought my sin on other ground, he sink in sand, all other ground, he sink in acknowledge you that you are our God. Father, we make public proclamation that you are good. Daddy, thank you for the grace. Thank you for the mercy. Thank you for your love. Daddy, thank you for your blessing. Thank you for everything that you have made available for today to be so. Daddy, thank you for last year. Daddy, we are coming for the program early morning last year. And you told me, you said, do not pick this book. And I was wondering in my spirit, why shouldn't we pick this book? But in obedience to your instruction, we left the book. And we got to the venue of the program and the program was going. And you told me that the theme for the next year shall be unusual treasure. And I said, God, again, again. And you told me the reason why. Father, here we are giving obedience to your instruction. Daddy, here we are to obey you totally. Whatever error that we have made, oh God, in giving total obedience to your instruction, Father, show us mercy. Amen. Almighty God, Daddy, these are the people, oh God. Daddy, 
that you have gathered for your program this year. Many have gone. Many are still here and some will still join. Father, we thank you for the journey mercy for everyone. Thank you for the grace of sound health. Thank you for the grace of sound in mind. Thank you for the resources that you made available. Thank you for all your children that have used, O oh God. Daddy will say glory be unto you, God. My Father, my God. Daddy, we cannot but say thank you, Father. For the commencement of this project of yours. And Lord, every year you are coming anew and getting afresh. Daddy, may your name be glorified. Amen. May your name be exalted. Amen. May your name be praised. Amen. Daddy, here we are to obey you, O oh God. Father, that wish that you want to do further, Daddy, let it be done, O oh God. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. That is unto God. Let's be seated, Sama. I am too young to ask people to stand. We give thanks to every one of us here. And like I say, I say thank you, everyone, for honoring us to come. I stand there to appreciate the free members of the Real Experience Missions International. They have been wonderful. I thank every family members. They have been awesome. I thank all the partners whom God has been using every year to his name be all the glory. I thank everyone, all my leaders, my elders in the church, some they will just take us the way we are. I remember in month of February that we went to invite our daddy that just led, Pastor Peter Peters, in February this year. And to God be the glory that here he, he comes. Since then we've not seen. And today he came. And all my fathers and my mother in the house, I say thank you very much for honoring this small boy. And I want to thank every friends, every colleagues. At the same way, I want to thank all my fathers that we have come to invite and they came to pick the microphone and to make them available for the use of God. I say thank you everyone, sir. May God continue to anoint you in the name of Jesus. I cannot but thank all other guest speakers that we have been invited and they came. I thank all the mistress. I thank everyone. I cannot but say thank you for what you have done. Let's go on. Now, the journey so far, we've been coming far, but we are just beginning. And I remember some years back when God said about this project, and hurriedly we came out, and we are saying, are you a seed? If you are my seed, you should do what I ask you to do. Are you the seed of God? We move on to ignite, ignited beyond ordinary light of life, unusual treasure, enviable height. Then we move on, we move on. We got to last year. Call becoming great. The next slide, sir. Now, when we are coming, very early on morning, that's Saturday, last year when we are coming for the program for the Becoming Great, God said, in our tradition when we are coming, we always come with the past editions of the books. And the children had already arranged those books. And I just entered into the room where they arranged the books. And I was about getting out of that room and God said, this particular book should not be brought to the venue. I was wondering why. At a point, I want to resist. But I quickly remember the prayer that I prayed in 2009. That God, if there's anything that you want me to do, if I find it difficult to do, God forced me to do it. I became conscious of that prayer. And I entered back into the room and I told them, drop this book, Unusual Treasure. 
And they asked questions. I said, don't ask me questions. Just drop it. And they removed it from the back. And they dropped it. And we came. So when the program was ongoing, God said, the next edition of the program should be titled Unusual Treasure. And to God be the glory that here we are today. God said something that Saturday morning that shocked me to my marrow and I felt like crying. God said that my daughter, a soldier of mine, died. Though you wrote a book in her honor, but that book was poorly published. And the honor was poorly done. Therefore, repeat that unusual treasure. I look at the resources that went for the program. I look at the stress. And I felt like crying. But I obey God. I picked the microphone that day. That was the first year that we announced the, the edition that will come. And God said that you have not celebrated her departure in the way that I want. For our contribution to re-experience Nation International. I said, God, have your way. When we are making the public announcement in month of March, the man that was anchored, that is anchoring the website, I sent the team for this year to him. He queried, he said, hello, sir. Unusual treasure has been done once. Why coming again? I said, we'll talk about it later. Just inject it. Put it on the website. And today we are honoring God. We are celebrating the departed soldier of God as God wants. And I pray that whatever we are going to do today shall give us the blessing as God will release in the name of Jesus. So a new book or, or let me say a new edition of the unusual treasure has been published. We have it here in the house now. The glory of this one has overshadowed the glory of the last one. Therefore, in this new book, we have about five other chapters to add to the value of the last one. When we did the first unusual treasure, God ministers to us that use a character, the character of the soldier of the Almighty God, and package the book. And everything that is unusual treasure is about Mrs. Patience Adewe Mimo or Shisonya. As I'm talking here today, the biological siblings, they are online, they are watching it. And those who know her, they are in the house. Everything in this unusual treasure is about her. Therefore, that book will be a blessing unto you. And when we are trying to pack it, and God told us, let this program be like this, be like this. Some of us who have been coming, we know that this year is a bit different from what you have been doing. And we are trying to obey the God instruction. And to Almighty God that we are celebrating her today. By the special grace of the Almighty God, God minister unto me that very day, and I felt like crying also. God said, I am expecting you to celebrate our impact more than this. And you have not done it. So do this, do this, do this. I documented everything down. And by the special grace of your my God, we are, we are commencing now. When God ministered that to me, we did the competition, and a young daughter of mine just walked to me with her mother, and the mother said, hello, uncle, this your daughter is crying because they didn't call her out for competition, for an, a scholarship. And I just laughed in my jocular manner. As I turned from that young girl, God said, way more projects is unto the children. Therefore, include those in primary school among the scholarship. I said, God, how? He said, start the way you are doing for others. I said, no problem, sir. 
Secondly, God said, He said, let there be annual competition of essay writing in our honor every year and give prizes to number one, number two, number three. And let it be celebrated every year of the program. I said, yes, sir. We don't have the money. But God is more than this. I am standing here today to obey the instructions of the Almighty God. And God told me that the essay competition should start from this year. We will put every package in place and we are going to announce it. First, second, third shall be awarded in a honor. To God be the glory. And also today, we shall also be including puppies of primary school in the scholarship award. Number three, I was thinking in my mind that the elders' welfare, 5,000 per month, is too small as a person. But God said, rather than making it any amount above 5,000, increase every scholarship level to 1010. And we are prepared for that 1010. Therefore, the elders' welfare shall be 10 people this year. The junior category one for primary school shall be 10 people. The junior category two for those in secondary school shall be 10. And those in higher institution also shall be what? Shall be 10. To him be all the glory. For the elders, it's going to be 5,000 every month for 10 people for one, for one year. And for junior category one, those in primary school shall be 5,000 per person. It's one of payment once in a year. Once once in a year, 5,000, and for 10 people. The junior category 2, for those in secondary school, is 10,000 naira for 10 people and one sub payment. And those in the higher institution is 25,000 for 10 people and one sub payment. So we want to start now. You will join me as I invite the elders to come out here. Hallelujah. Please, elderly people in the house, please come out here. Above 60. above 60. If you're above 60 in the house, let's just file out here. God bless you. Okay. Our Tabati do Ogota. Ogota is okay. Ogota will do so okay. 60 years and above. Please, let's come out. Straight line. Straight line. Echo. No, no, no. Praise the name of the Lord. Aha. Uh -huh. I will say this in English and I will say it in Yoruba again. Um, 
won ma gbe em abo iwa siwaju wa ama mu paper ni be awa ta ba mu yes awa la qualify for scholarship eh awa ta ba mu no we try again later uh -huh. so if you pick yes from this um tray that means you are qualified for the scholarship so yes you are qualified for the scholarship no we have a gift that we will give to you so god bless you in jesus name so shall we start now can we have soft music please MIT show, MIT show. All right, can we open now? Can we open now? Eje ka shi awa ta ba mu yes eje ke lord aja de was by yes yes hallelujah lord yes awa no ejo eje ka bo si apa bi no eje ka bo si apa bi lord you yes wonderful no eje eje bo si apa bi no Lord, okay. you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, God bless you. No stopping. No, God bless you. God bless you. Lord, you are so good. Yeah. Lord, you. All right. Lord, you Can we jam our hands together for Jesus? Father, you are excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Lord, you are hey, this you hey, just, uh, Hold on, hold on. All right, let's take it again. Although we are going to take it when they get their letters. You are excellent is your name. Okay, please you can go and take your letters now. Excellent God bless you. Your power. Lord, you are Lord, you are. All right. The first categories are those that are in primary school. Those that are in primary school, can you please come forward? Primary school children, can you please come forward? Primary school children in the house. Primary school children, please let them come out. Just come out here. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Come out here. Move back. Move back. Move back. Excellent is your Primary school power. children in the house. Lord, yeah, yeah. Primary school children. Let's bring them out. You're a wonderful guy. Primary school children. Excellent is your name. Please, we don't want no three school children. Primary. Excellent is your name. From primary one to six. Those three school children are not involved. You are wonderful, You are wonderful. Those three school children, please go and sit down. Those three school children, you are wonderful. Those three school children. Please, if we have those that are sleeping, please wake them up. Is your name, yeah. Excellent, 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 excellent is your power. 
Okay. Please spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Don't open it yet. Alright, open now. Open. If you have yes, just put up your hands. Open if you have yes, put up your hands. Yes. If you have yes, put up your hands. Yes. 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 All right. No, please go. Go this way. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Let's come together. Let's come. Let's come. Let's come. Let me on in the river. All right, thank you. Please, they need if your child is here and you they cannot fill the form, there is a form that will be given to them. Please, the parent can come out to help them fill the form. Parents or guidance, please come out and help them fill the form. They need to fill a form now. Parents or guidance, please come and help them fill the form. God bless you. Let's do that very quickly. Please, can you move to a side? God bless you. Move to that side. Mommy, please move to that side. God bless you. Move to that side. Please go, go with them. Go with them. Go with them. Thank you. Alright, the second category. Alright. The second category are those in secondary school. If you know you are in secondary school, if you know you are in secondary school, please can you come out? Secondary school children, please come out. Secondary school, please come out. Come out. Let's be fast. Let's work smart. All right. Please, let's come here. Secondary school children, please come out. Secondary school children. Work smart. Work smart. Work smart. All right. Oh. 
secondary school children in the house. Secondary school children. All right, can we find out? Don't open it yet. Yes. If you have yes, just come forward. If you have yes, just come forward. Yes. 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 No, please go this way. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Let's come back here. Let's come back. Just drop your yes. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. All right. Go back there. Okay, please, if you pick no, if you pick no, if you pick no, secondary school children, if you pick no, please come out. There's one person that is not actually. So all of you that pick, we are going to pick again. Those that pick no, please come out again. Those of you that pick no, secondary school children, secondary school, secondary school. Those of you that pick no, yes. You all pick no, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So we just need one person. Have you dropped yours? Okay. I need one person, one more person. So we're going to pick again.
If you pick yes, just step forward. No, drop it and go back to your seat. Yes. All right. The others, please drop your paper and go back to your seat. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it here. Drop it here. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So the next category are those in higher institution. So we are going for the big one now. This is a big one. All right, this is a very big one. If you are an higher institution of learning, please can you come out? This is a big one. All right. Okay. Thank you. Please, no postgraduate students. You are doing your masters. You are doing your PhD. Please go and sit down. God bless you. We only need those that are in the universities, those that are in polytechnic, those that are in colleges of education, nursing school. You are welcome. Postgraduate student, please go and sit down. I wish you all, we are all undergraduates. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. Okay, please, can we, can we come together a bit so that they can take a photograph? Photographer. Awatu <laughs> I'm 
Word for yourself, but don't open yet. We'll experience Mission International. I'm not Tony. Get one for yourself. Let's do it fast, let's do it fast. Fast. All right. Let's open now. Let's open now. So if you have yes, just come to this side. Yes. No, just go to the other side there. Yes, come here. Yes, come here. Yes, come here. Yes. Yes. Yes, come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. I'm supposed to have ten. I'm supposed to have ten. I'm supposed to have ten. Allah, Luan. Next time. Thank you. All right, ten of you, can we stay here? The wisdom of God. Please no, go to that side. God bless you. Thank you for coming. The wisdom of Thank God. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. You show Luani. Please, can you stay here? Eba stop. Congratulations! 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 You shall so lumba la wrong. I can't get me Okay. okay. Please wait, wait. Hello. Hello. Please, please come back. Come back, come back. Thank you. Please, we want to snap all the categories. All right. For those that, are, that got the scholarship from el the elders, primary school children, secondary school children please can we come out the elders primary school children that got the scholarship secondary school children that got the scholarship can we please come out the elders 
please can we come out? We want to take a group photograph. Those that got the scholarship. Those that got the scholarship. Okay, those that got the scholarship, yes, we can stay here. The elders, we can stay here. No, just stay, stay. The elders, okay, elders, please go up behind them. If you have not returned your form, or if there's anybody that has not returned one of the form, please return it now. If you do not return it, we don't have a record that you have won the scholarship. So please make sure you return one of the forms.
Join me as I invite Pastor Dr. Adekoya to close. After his own, for about two minutes, we are going to have vote of thanks. And after vote of thanks, we are going to have group photograph. But let me announce this to us because of what I heard. Number one, they observed that some won the scholarship last year and they still win this year. Shebe ni. Do we have those who won last year? We have. Do you win again this year? The Lord is good. To God be the glory. To God be the the that for the elders is every month five thousand, but for those in school, junior category one, junior category two, and senior category is once off. Five thousand for those in primary school, ten thousand for those in secondary school, and twenty-five thousand for those in higher institution, and it's once. And the money will be released by first week in February next year, as we do. That's the tradition of the organization. Thank you very much. Daddy, you are welcome. Two minutes to close. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Shall we rise up as we, as we pray? And so, Father, we appreciate you to this evening. We appreciate you because this is the 14th edition of this program. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for everything you have been doing. Take glory in the name of Jesus. Take glory and honor in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, as many as have spared their time to be here today, you will bless them in return in Jesus' name. Nobody shall go home the way he came in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord, is there any unusual treasure in the life of anyone here that are yet to be unraveled, that are yet to be unveiled, Daddy, you will unveil it in the name of Jesus. Everybody present here, I pray, you will walk in your high places in Jesus' name. God will make you to be sure-footed in the name of Jesus. You will rise and begin to soar higher in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for your son that you are using. For this program, you will bless him more and more. You will uphold his family in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all the hands that have been helping this ministry. Father, lift up their hands. Bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. The 15th edition coming up next year shall be greater. It shall be more wonderful in the name of Jesus and we shall be more than this in the mighty name of Jesus. Father as, as we be going now everybody to your destination let your grace, let your protection go with us in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father in Jesus name we have prayed louder Amen Louder, amen. amen. God bless you. Let's appreciate God. Briefly, let's have our seats. The information reaching us now is that for the senior category, the tertiary institution scholarship scheme, I think one of the winners refused to submit his or her details. One of the winners has refused to submit his or her details. And with that, there is nothing to treat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. On behalf of the Real Experience Missions International, on behalf of all the members, on behalf of the convener and his family, we are saying 
thank you to everybody that you have made it to be in attendance, both physically here and online, for the 14th edition of the Wisdom of God in Man. We are appreciating you and we are saying thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. And we pray that we shall get back to all our destinations safely in the name of Jesus. If Jesus tarries, next year shall be greater than this in the name of Jesus. See you at the top. We love you. The Lord bless you. Thank you sir. Please, if you have not gotten food, can I see your hands? If you have not gotten food, Okay, if you have not gotten food, please, I have um, somebody here, those that are giving the food. Hello. We have not given the engineers food. Those on the projectors, we have not given them food. Please, let's bring food for them. Okay. Information reaching me that the engineers have gotten their food.